All right, all right, all right. That's such a better title. Why didn't you put that? Dude, who, what, where, when, right? Bourbon Junkies Ride Stream. All right, all right, all right. Way better. I typed Ride Stream and I thought to myself, like Scooby Doo. You know what I'm saying? No. You never watched Scooby Doo as a kid? I did. He said, Rut Row. Like that. Everything okay. has starts with an R for him. So if okay. he would say live stream, he'd say bribe stream. That's what he'd say. Gosh. I don't hate it. Yeah, I know. I can't start her off with a long pour, good sir. Start her off with a normal pour, a little, little dipper dapper, you know what I mean? <clears throat> 34 seconds live, dude. Welcome back. To another installment of Dan spilling whiskey everywhere. Well, okay. We're the bourbon junkies. Oh, I think they know that. I don't know, maybe it's your first time here and you happen to stumble into a live stream as it started on a random channel. Bro, the last time you hit a lot, like an intro and an actual video. Yeah. Seven, just, eight years. Yeah. Maybe you doing it in a live stream just doesn't feel right. <clears throat> Let me make sure. Oh. Jack, Jack of all blades. Mr. or Miss Morgan Dowden. All right. Maybe you shouldn't try. I'm looking for, make sure everything looks okay. I don't so know. That was live. Good people, news. People would just tell us how to look. News. Awful. There's audio. There's audio. We're good. That's. Oh. <laughs> you see. Hi, Gab. <laughs> Listen, now we have to talk significantly less shit. Sean talks shit every time. I always say, why would you ever say that, dude? That's so rude. <clears throat> Talking about his girlfriend. You guys getting married yet, or what's going on with that? I don't know. You well, I'm just wondering. No, I already did that. I was just wondering. I mean, you got. Unfortunately, you know. I was there. I know. <gasps> what is going on, everybody? What's going on, Moe's? Bourbon Saints in the house. All right. Jeffrey Hi, Wax Skin Marks Guy Davis. It's Skid Marks. You say it right. I say Skin Mark. Yeah. Uh, you know, he gets the gist. Uh, Todd's here. What is going on, everybody? Just kicking this shit off. Okay. You know, I just muted mine. Hit a few didn't, do not disturbs, you know. Yours is just... Fucking vibrator. All right. Dan is, uh, Dan's the, fired up tonight. Dude, I've had a long day, and I've needed whiskey for two, and I haven't had it in three. You know what I'm saying? You drank the other night. What night? Yesterday. Nope, didn't drink last night. Bullshit. We were out in the garage and you tried a couple I things. I took the little what? nip. I didn't drink I didn't go inside and drink anymore. You were like, taste this shitty blend of mine. I said, all right, fine. Little, I gave it a kiss nip like that. I went mediocre at best and I went inside. That's not drinking. It's not even having a drink. I watched you open six bottles and just chug. That's almost drinking. That's what I call borderline drinking. I was listening to a podcast the other day, and one of the guys was talking about if Kentucky would win in a war against, like, Tennessee or something like that. Or no, it wasn't Tennessee. It's like Kentucky versus Virginia or something. Okay. And what they said about the Kentuckians were, they said, uh, Kentucky definitely win. Because okay. those motherfuckers always have some whiskey in their blood at some, every, any given time of day. Yeah. That's very true. It's sort of part superhero. I'm actively trying to live that lifestyle. Drunk. Not drunk. Drunk. There's constantly whiskey Inebriated. in the bloodstream. Gotcha. <laughs> Um, All right, Jeffrey says, "Ah, oh, the Woodford Rack store pick. I have one that is straight toasted marshmallow. I need that one. Yeah, that one sounds amazing. Sean bought this about two days ago, so you can see how he feels about it. Didn't share it with anybody. He told me that <laughs> in private. He said that to me. Gabby has been sharing it on it with oh, me. That's weird. Mm -hmm. That is uh, the most marzipan I've ever smelled. What marzipan, Dan? It's when you mars the pan. Nope." Do you actually know what marzipan is? Mm -hmm. It's um, the juice from marsupials. No? Yep. No? Yep. Almonds are involved. Tom says, how many glasses will it take to get Sean where he drop an F-bomb after F-bomb? I... I swear more than Sean. But it's because Probably. I, was, I wasn't allowed to swear when I was growing up. This yeah. is what happens. 100%. Yeah, now I'm just fast and loose That's with delicious, it. That's delicious, isn't it? It's really good. Yeah. It wasn't that good when I tried it. No. Is it the same one? It is. I brought most likely. Um, Unless they got another says, one. No by Party Store. 8 28 they need to That's old. They need to redo that. This bottle. was literally the last bottle. They need to redo that. Yeah, bottle. I'm not I'm not a fan. Like, like you're just getting a sticker on there. And it's, it, well, I don't really like that bottle shape either, but mm. it They've takes had it up for a while. It takes up a lot of, it's a like the Angels, yeah. but the Angels is tall at least. 
Because like, they're, so, uh, they're so thin. Oh, you don't have a double oak bottle here, do you? No, because I am a man, and I don't drink double oak. So double oak's delicious. Um, um, yeah, I, I feel like they could go a reboot on these bottles. I'm, I'm, they've had them for a very long time. They did it on the double oak. I think they could even upgrade those. The double oaks look a lot better. I like those. The new ones? And I like, like them more than that. Like a little more squat. You're just getting a sticker on there. Um, yeah, this is an old one, but this well, is the last one in the like store. And it was like 37 bucks. Yeah, whatever. So, Delicious. Um, I'm going to hide the old chat right here so we don't want to drink. Mm. Okay. Mm. So, oh, let's see what we got here before we kick her off. What's everybody drinking? Jack Little Blade says. Uh, Henry McKenna 10. <laughs> Sell out. What a sell out, dude. Noob. Jeez, OP, dude. It's like it won an award or something. And no, I didn't buy it after the award like some sheep. I already had a couple of bottles. Listen, I had three. We just opened another one. I can't wait until that shit you trades. Four. Yeah. You one left one out north. Yeah. I have two open. Press man says, hey, bourbon junkies. And that looks like a cheers thing. Cheers, man. Cheers to you. Cheers. I whiskey she wine says, hey, Moe's. Dude, I whiskey she wine says, cheers everywhere. There and hey. Guess what? Next Tuesday. We got the. Uh... Bunch of samples. It's going down. Yeah, coming your guys' way. It's going down next Tuesday. We'll be at my house. <laughs> yeah, we will. Then I can drop half bombs because then I just got to crawl up those stairs. <laughs> yeah. See, we need like a that, maybe the thing I bought will be a backdrop for your place too. Mm. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. It'd be easy. Yeah. Okay. So what we're doing tonight? What are we drinking tonight? Um, the best. One of the best ryes ever made, which is uh, just High West Double Rye. And then one of the better store pick Woodford ryes I've ever had. I've had three. That's one of the better ones. Um, I'm excited to see what Oppermans turns into when they come in. Those yeah, because we had them at Barrel Proof. And yeah. then they get... So the proofing down is very rough. Hey, Woodford. Um, bottle your stuff at Barrel Strength, because that was amazing. Two out of three of those were just mind-blowingly good. And we're like, this does not... Taste hot. True. It just tastes delicious. True. Um, and then remember they bottle everything at 90.4 and we're like, well. Yeah. Mm. We try to prove it down. I don't know. So here's the plan. The plan tonight is drink rise. Um, Pop rise. Just cause. Yeah. Um, it's the year of the rye. Drink That's rye right. till the sun rise. You know what I'm saying, dude? I can work in the morning. All right. Well, me too, but we got <clears> time. You can work from home. We. They don't know what time zone we're in. We might be in Australia. They know we're from Michigan. Maybe there's a Michigan, Australia. It's a city. I was going to do a really rough Australian accent. I really, I pulled it back. I decided not to. Ugh. I feel like Chris Hemsworth's going to kick in the door and beat the <laughs> shit out of you for attempting that. Um, oh. No, no, this uh, 2019 is definitely like the year of the ride. 100%. 2018 like, was the beginning of the next year of the ride. You said things. Um, I, I don't take it back. Okay. Most shit came out in 2018. All right. A lot of stuff. Like At what? least four things. <laughs> <laughs> Knob Creek Cast Strength, yes. Okay. Great. Don't even have any here because you drank it all. Great, though. Mm -hmm. Obviously great. Yep. Polish the bottle off. Knob Creek Twice Barreled Right, not as great as some of us say. Why would you even include that a in lot this of, list? A lot of people. These are all the rides that came out last year. Okay. Knob Creek Single Barrel Rye Program. Don't hate that. Really good. I said four, didn't I? Yep. Basil Hayden's ten year. I will punch you in the That's throat. Bourbon, That's, isn't it? That is bourbon. Um, set. I don't know if Sagamore came out I think last year. That's 2018. Year. Will yeah. it put out a ride? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this year, <clears throat> a lot of exciting stuff is coming. The wild turkey, the cornerstone ride. That's gonna be. Mm. 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 Cornerstone. What'd I say? Something along the lines of Cumberstone. Okay. It was. I wanted to say Cornerstone Rye if I didn't it was say that. close. Um, and then Woodford Reserve is Chocolate Rye for their Master's Collection. This is the first time in your <clears throat> entire 47 years on this planet that you got that Been rye. working on it all day. Uh, <laughs> Just. <laughs> I work, mean, flashcards. You're at work like There's Master's Keep. Master's Two flashcards. Mm. Damn mm. it. Um, yeah, I like to call those things in reverse. Yeah. They're, uh, they're very close. Yeah. They both have the word Master's. Master. Yeah. They both start with. Collection. Keep. Cut. Never been more right. So, uh, Mash and Drum's in here. What's going on, man? We gotta hang out sometime. Mictor, oh. Mash and Drum's not that far away. Listen. <clears throat> Mictor's Barrel Strength Ride? Yeah, he just put out a video of it, and I, I got, right. I was a little upset. 
You know, I was just a little jealous. I was a little. I saw the video and I went, mm, "All right, cool, man. Good for you." And this then might I went, be. Ugh. I feel like this is one of the best forty-dollar store picks I've ever bought. What's on your finger? Yeah, it's a sticker. Okay. So it says B. You know what happened last night? This is. You got drunk. No. Nope. No, I didn't drink last night. And I didn't, what was the day before that? Sunday. It's Tuesday. So I don't, Sunday. I'm too busy to keep track You're too of what, drunk. which day it is. Uh, drunk. Sunday, I didn't drink either. Nope, didn't, I did. Uh, it was Game of Thrones. Saturday, I didn't drink. I don't know, who can keep track? I put a healthy dent in this on Saturday. You put a healthy half a bottle in your system. Now, Gabby had some, and then I had some when I came home and edited it on Sunday. So, Gabby had some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think she had a glass and a half. Mm, okay, I'm skeptical. So, uh, Master Drum said to come to Ohio and I'll share some. This is what I was going to say. Santa Cruz is in there. What is going on, Santa Cruz? DJ Beacon just said, evening, everyone. DJ Beacon. Hi, friend. What's going on? Here's, OG. Here's what I want to tell you. Yeah. Here's what I want to tell you. Ready? You ready for this? Drop it. Last night, I'm watching I Whiskey She Wines. Oh, God. I thought this was going to get way more weird. I'm watching. Not yet. <laughs> I'm last night you were watching. I'm wa <laughs> last night, late at night on the couch, all by myself. Doors locked, windows shut. Under a blanket, maybe. Was I hot? Shades drawn. <laughs> it was hot. Uh, I was watching them. They were talking about like going and drinking with people, drinking with mm -hmm. fans, drinking with hanging out, whatever. Ooh. So what I so then I'm, I was like, come to Michigan. I think either I or ADHD fishing said, come to Michigan. And then it was like, yeah, because then Chris Bourbonsane would hang out too, mm -hmm. I'm sure. And I then, don't know. He seems pretty, like, not a very personable person. Yeah, he yeah. hates other human beings. Yeah, it, well, yeah we, just didn't, we just didn't have a blast or anything. So anyways, uh, but then I thought to myself, mash and drum somewhere in Ohio. That's not. They're in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. He's in Ohio. Yep. So we should Hopefully be everybody in knows this Illinois. Now. In that, <laughs> so what you're saying is we go to Washington, D.C.? Um, and then we're up in the old Michigan. Side note, do you know where Washington, D.C. is at? Yeah, it's over on the coast. Mm. Yes, it is. It's a little one on the water. It's a tiny little thing. Nope. Yes, it is. <laughs> Washington, D.C.? Yeah. It's a providence. Yeah? Yeah. And it's surrounded by? Land and water. Virginia. <laughs> okay. Is this true? <laughs> this is, I don't think this is true, man. Oh, this is about to be embarrassing. Let me see. Yeah, you know what I was getting to? <laughs> oh, yeah. What I was trying to get to here... Yeah, go ahead, bud. ...is we should just do a giant meetup with, like, four channels. Yeah. And then anybody can come that wants to. It's got to be somewhere where we're allowed to drink. Get to Google. Where is Washington, D.C.? Thanks for listening to my conversation, Google. Uh... I just want a map. That's weird. There's water. There's water. That's and a I, river. I don't care. I said it's surrounded by land and water. So if this river goes into it, which it does, I'm in. <laughs> it's a river. That is water, man. All right, what do we got? Okay, okay, so here's what we're doing tonight. This is the idea since it's only been 25 minutes and we haven't even talked about it. Or we maybe. came to drink rye for or no reason actually in particular, but it's, You're little, the rat. it's slightly structured though. Yeah, huh? This, oh. is, this was even your idea. Yeah. You forget every conversation we have. Yeah. Every now and then I just spit out good ideas and then Dan sends them back to me. I'm like, dude, that's a great idea. He doesn't ever. So I will pull up the chat. <laughs> Photoshop. Oh, so here's the thing. We're going to do thing. cheap. We're going to start in cheap ride land. Yep. And we'll just say like Boom. what our favorite cheap ride. That's not that cheap. It's 40. That's cheap. Is it? Rittenhouse, Sazerac, Old Forest. You know, Jim Beam, all those are cheaper. So anyways, Cheap. we're going to start in uh, pretend made-up brackets we're making up right now. And we're going to tell you which one we like the most in that, we in that price bracket. Budget, right? I know. We're starting there, dumbass. We're not staying there. We'll start there, and then we'll go up one, and then we'll go up one. And I then feel we'll like you're just being one. real hurtful today. Gosh, I feel like talking to you is like bash my face in this table. I wish you wouldn't. All right, what do we got? I was because she once says, let's meet at New York Distillery, 10-minute drive. Oh, my fucking God. Uh, what? Sean lifted for the first time in a year. In one year. And his poor little Kermit legs can't handle it anymore. How old is it? 
that's a pre-workout drink, so I don't recommend that. Like it has pre-workout in the can. Uh, God, I want some energy. Should have let him drink it. Um, nope, nope. DJ Beacon says cheap ride George Dickel. Nope. Sorry about that. I don't think so. Um, cheap rise. We're talking. Oh, there's two cases of Green Monster in my truck. Oh, thank God. You can have one. Oh my God. You sound like such an addict. <laughs> there's two. You wait till you open the door and see two 24 cases oh, in there. Oh my God. So for cheap rise, we got Rittenhouse. We're gonna say, I don't know, 30 and under. That seems like a good price bracket. We did a video on this. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. Because uh, we did it blind, so it's less biased than tonight will be. Uh, I got Rittenhouse, Wild Turkey 101, Baby Saz, um, Old Forester Rye, Jim Beam Rye. I think that's only 30. Uh, what was that called? What's the James one over there that you put the pretzels in front of? Oh, James Dollar? Press Man, there will be a long pour, I promise. Uh, we Dollar. have had, Todd, we've had 1792 High Rye, and I didn't love it. Mm -mm. Traded my bottle after I had a sample of it because it tastes like weirdly young to me. Well, that's good. That's the best ever. I think that's the first one I've ever had. Nothing that. better than that in the world. Will you give me some? Yeah, no problem. Please. I you just see need, all the monster in my to, truck? Yeah, that's dude, that is a 48, 48 cans, <laughs> roughly. That is a lot of monster. I just needed something to drink that it wasn't whiskey. All right, cool. All right. That is three quarters of a can. All right, cool. And right, we'll take that as two sips. So uh, what did we miss? We split it half and half. That, you think that was half? I don't know, but I don't feel good. <laughs> I wish ill things upon you. That tastes so good, though. So uh, know, it cheap rye. Yeah. We already got old old Foresters. Keep going, no stop. Old Foresters are a winner. Oh, you're just gonna not drink it though? We gotta drink it. Let's yeah, we discuss can. it, bro. We can. Okay. I don't remember what came in second for us. Was it baby Saz? Was it was baby Saz? Because yeah, baby Saz. Salted Sass. watermelon. Baby Saz is a murderer, dude. It's good. That's really good. This is delicious. You now mix you, that with a little bit of Green Monster. Now you see why I've put a good dent in her. I, I don't know if this is on on the corner. This is my new baby. Is it? Oh, it made no, it. it is. Unfortunately. I just got this the other day. Yeah, that's annoying. Somebody asked. Set that over there. I didn't I didn't think that was gonna clip on there or not. Somebody asked about this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. The iridescent high west bottles, barrel pick bottles. I think if you shine it to that light. I don't know if you can see it or not. But I don't know if they can or when not. When there's whiskey in it, you can see it a hell of a lot better. Yeah. But I just killed this bottle like uh, last week, so. Wow. This I didn't is, think we liked that one. This is from Biddy's. We don't like the American Prairie. Oh, that's what yeah, that's the the weird vermouth one? Yeah. Good. No. One of them oh, is Madeira. not good. It's Madeira. Madeira. That's what that one is. All right. Yeah, yeah that one has got some <laughs> stank on it. It's got some funk. All right, so grab the old Forester. All right. Put this one back for me, please. Grab the old foe. Is that red spot worth it? XPL wants to know. Um, for me, yes. Dan, no. No. Um, I, I'll, I'd pay $130 for that again. Uh, delicious. You get, it's... We'll, we'll eventually have to do something on it, but I think it's got some good complexity that you normally don't get out of Irish. Oh my gosh, all right, what was I getting? I don't know where anything is on the shelf now. The, the, the squatty bottles are on the squatty shelf now. So the red spot oh, is you? 130 bucks. I, that's not the leader. No, the leader's in the house, yeah, I switched I was, them. I was looking for the leader. Because the leader doesn't fit on that uh, shelf, okay. remember? We, did, we talked about that last night. So, Will you grab the Jim Beam ride just for fun? That's going great. Put this one back for me for right now. Um, so the red spot is if it's $130. I like it. If you like Irish whiskey a lot, it will yeah. probably be worth it. Yeah. You have to, I feel, enjoy Irish whiskey. If you like it's lost on Dan. If you like, it's not lost on me. It's not good. He said if, Jameson Caskmate was his was the best Irish whiskey. That I've had, probably. Except, you know what I will say? He's had red spot, yellow spot, green spot, all the red breast. No, not Ex all of them. We haven't yeah. had like 32. That, that doesn't exist. That's they not had, real. They had a whiskey track. It's not even real. The tw I, this is what I was going to say. What's available? The 21 was better than that Jameson. Now, Jameson's $35, and the 21, red breast 21 is three or 400 or something. And it's like 320 bucks. So, 
Okay. Yeah. That's Irish. That, that's for all you Irish whiskey lovers out there. For normal people, gutter palate, not worth. Everybody knows the truth, dude. I don't have to preach it anymore. Uh. You know, like when you're, you know, like it's like I was the preacher, and I have the following. I don't have to keep preaching. They get it. They're the preachers now. I'm just hanging out in the back with my feet up. You comparing yourself to Jesus right now? I like, will, I'm not a good carpenter. Is that where you're I will at? say that. So, <laughs> budget cheap. Which one do you want? Rise. You want baby Sazer or old Forster? Mmm. Like this? There's a bunch of clean blends over there because I washed them all before you came. Okay. Because I'm a good person. That Saz bottle has been around for a time and a half. A life one house. time and a half. Only one house. <laughs> I move every two to three years. Yeah. Dan's got an issue with it's, buying and selling houses. It's like clockwork at this point in my life. This yeah. is our like fifth house or something like that. I don't know. At least fourth. So anyways, um, we can measure things in houses yeah. in my life at this point. Not many bottles have made it through more than one house. Most of the bottles that have made it through the houses are complete and utter nonsense. Like Amador 10 barrel. I mean, you still got... No, you don't. You finished your 22. I forgot. That's gone. Mm. DJ Beacon Butter. said, I think Jameson's Stout Edition is very good stuff. And the steal at under $30. At, I don't um, think you're wrong, but I'm not going to put that up there against Red Spot or Yelp Spot or Green Spot. Meyer has None it for $32 spots. in Michigan, which means that's good state deal. minimum. Yeah, that's good a deal. good deal. It's a, it's a really good Irish whiskey. Um, you get that like earthy creaminess out of the, the stout finish on it. I like it a lot. Uh, a lot of people mentioned above that Bang energy drinks are really good. So here's the oh, thing. Oh, we know. But Bang, the problem is... I have three <laughs> cases of Bang energy drinks inside the house right now. Because I found a deal in which it was very cheap. It was like $15 for a case of Bang. Yeah. With like really cheap shipping. So I got them. And I like... I've had like all of them now. Um, I really like Bangs. The problem is the Green Monsters are better than all of them. And, and I can half drink, the caffeine. I can drink two green monsters to one bang, which means I can enjoy the drink for twice as long. Ooh, that's too much caffeine. 300 milligrams isn't that much. That's too much. Over time, because it takes me, if I drink a monster at work, it's like a two hour oh. ordeal. So it's not bad for one monster. I usually sip on, like, when we used to have caffeine problems, um, I'd sip on one for a most while. of a warm up. Yeah. Oh, that smelled fucking terrible. Yeah, you've got Ugh. Jim Beam. No, you burping. Oh yeah, I would not have not. I, we had shrimp and asparagus. Uh, had the condom condom. What's up, Connemara? Where are we looking at? Connemara Irish peated single malt. Listen, I can tell you right now, I would what hate you that. Connemara Irish peated single malt. All right, and you're probably not wrong. Listen, I can tell you if it's Irish and peated. Dan will definitely hate it. It is not worth drinking. I can tell you. Yeah, this baby sass hasn't changed. It's still salted watermelon. Still watermelon? Mm -hmm. It's still good. Nice, sweet, light. Somebody had a good idea. I'll give you a shout out. I don't um, know who it was. Uh, did you just put on deodorant? Yeah. Like the viewers can smell you? Woo! No, I know I, I can. I could. Woo, that wasn't good. I My deodorant's out here, so I didn't put it on this morning. I showered, but I didn't put it on deodorant this morning. Monster. I didn't work out today. Mm, not bad. But I was like, fuck, I forgot that. It's out here. Okay. Jeffrey Wax says, what's the least favorite ride of the cheap one? This is a good idea. So every time we go through, we'll just talk about the, or at least, that's not, that's not in this category. That's the next category. Careful. I really didn't have, Easy to, killer. didn't have to think about it. Can you get the James Oliver ride? Actually, that was the other one I wanted on the table. I don't know if anybody's had this. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't squatted in a year. The rest of my body kind of remembers how it used to lift. Just my legs don't remember anything. It's not pretty. Um, I don't remember us really liking that. I don't really like that Jim Beam Ryan anymore. And I used to. I don't know. Oh, oh, it's so floral. What? Like the finish is so that. flowery and like perfume. It's like that artificial perfume. Oh, God. It smells nutty as f. It doesn't. It's not. Doesn't taste that nutty. All right. Let's see what we got here. Bullet rise, good cheap ride. Bullet rise, not bad. Um, I haven't had the bullet twelve year, and I really want that. Yeah. Oh, the twelve year of rye. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that sounds good. 
Um, Expel says I thought the yellow spot was way better than the green. Yellow spot. legs and stinky pits. That's us. That's a, is that, That's our new mega shirt. Normally, Ooh. I just wear deodorant every day, <laughs> but I left it out here because I brought it out here the other day. This smells decent. With a hint of must. Really? It's mm -hmm. been open for a while. Um, I got that from Megabev, so it's been open for a long while. Because that guy told me, you like rye? I said, no. And he goes, you'll like this one. James Oliver Rye Whiskey, Indio Spirits Distillery, 50% alcohol, 100 proof. It doesn't have it. It doesn't say anything else. Produced, it's like a peppermint. Produced and bottled by Indio Spirits, Spearman. Portland, Oregon. That's what I want to say, Spearman. I just drank it off the bottle. Yeah, why are we using glasses? Baby sips. Try not to die. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Super minty. Yeah. You're right. Oh, like, like shit tons crazy. of clove and just... Yeah, it's really spicy. That's weird. That's not bad. It's, it's interesting. Weird. Mash and Drum said he liked the red spot, but it got super sweet when it opened up. Ooh, can't wait. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're trying to make me like it more. Because I probably will. Like, that's what I want. Um, like, the Lestau is, like, really, sweet. really, really sweet. Like fruity and sweet. that's probably our favorite. Um, um, I just hope that red yeah. fruit just opens up more. Um, mm. I would like to see the spice. Like the, It's got a li little bit of a lingering spice in the late finish. I hope that really picks up a little bit. Actually, you agree. Um, I, I feel like that would just make it beautiful. Um, oh, I missed it. Hold on just a second here. There was one I wanted to read. Mm. Morgan says, thanks for showing the luminescent High West bottle. High West bottle. I couldn't remember if the bourbon inside was good or not. I've been searching for it and haven't seen it. So the issue is, the, it's not, the bourbon inside isn't always good. The, no. bur, the luminescent bottles are their store pick bottles. Because Dan's that, got a luminescent up, well, up there that is just heinous. And that Rendezvous Rye store pick that I have over there is oh, a the luminescent, one, but it's yeah. a barrel pick. So It just has a little stamp on it. The barrel picks are usually in the luminescent bottles with like the little necklace on them. Um, sometimes the whiskey's good, sometimes not. High West store picks are based on how they finish the bottle, so. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, that's the gamble you run in any store pick, really. You just are gambling that you're going to like whoever picked that, uh, barrel out. Yeah. Yeah. They're... High West is really a gamble, though. <laughs> yeah, on their store picks? Yeah. But, like, now if I see another High West double ride that, um, that one was, what did you, a Manhattan one? I'll always oh, buy that. yeah. Because that, that one was, was really good. good. Yeah. But... That had that vermouthy flavor to it. Is that Crown Royal behind you going to last through the next move? If it's the Bourbon Mash 13 year, I know the struggle. I don't crave it at all. So I don't crave it, but I liked it. We do. I don't ever. I, we really liked it, but I never go to it. Yeah, I've never walked through looking at things to drink. And I'm like, you know, I actually I take that back. I did not that long ago. But I like it. But it's few and far between. We've had that for a while now, and I'm still just like eh, lukewarm on it. Really good, but I've it's never good. just been like, that's what I want. Um, He's trying everything, Danny. Skid says, after I heard Sean saying, Saz tastes like salted watermelon, sipping it for a while, now I can't untaste it. You're welcome. Skid McCarthy. <laughs> DJ Beacon, how much was the High West Double Rye store pick with the metal necklace? $43 or $36 at Benny's? Been gone for a while. I wish I would have bought seven of them. It's one of my favorite double, it's yeah. one of my favorite, like, sub $80 rides I've probably ever, ever it's, had. It's fantastic, actually. Um... Prez, Prez Shinra. Ready for this comment? Hit so me. far, comment of the night. So you know what direction we're heading in. It's gonna be really nice. Am I the only one who thinks he looks like a vampire? <laughs> You're not. Welcome to the team, though. Okay. Because lots of us do. <laughs> What's great is, so Easter, a little, little sidetrack here. Easter, we sat outside for most of the day. Gabby got summer. My girlfriend is also very fair. She's really yeah, pale. Yeah. Yeah. So am I. We sat right next to each other. I don't have one bit of sun to me. You don't. And she's burnt. So I'm like, I'm broken. What's our least favorite? Um, of this. Or Rittenhouse. Jim Beam or Rittenhouse? One of those two. Uh, least favorite. Sub $30 Probably. ride. Might be Ritten. Rittenhouse tastes the youngest. Beam yeah, tastes the worst. I remember being like really grainy. And have some spikiness oh. to it. Yeah, probably Written House. Written, yeah, that's got to win for me. And then Jim Beam. 
this is the worst for you? Yeah. Um, well, the Jim Beam has an off-putting, like astringent flavor. No, no, no. In the 40 range, these are all of them now. I, uh, wild turkey. But yeah, but we lo that's not going to be the worst or the best. No, that's I'm our saying middle that, ground, that's going to be above. Wild turkey is almost kind of like our control at this point. Yeah. We both like it. It's not. It's not our favorite. There are things better than um, ours. Chan um, says the Connemara peated single malt is good. Mm. Might not be for everyone. Then again, he's a fan of Island Scotch. I lay scotch. Yeah. I'm not. You're not. What? Nope, I'm not. I'm telling you. I beg Anna away, maybe, but. I, I keep telling him that you literally just have to, like, just get through a bottle mm -hmm. in a short amount of time, and you'll eventually like it. Wow. Yeah. That's getting it's every, cut. It's not getting I'm gonna cut. Have to, I'm going to have to download a three hour video <laughs> to get that. Like three second clip. It's gonna be real. That's not bad. Mm. It's gotten better. More cinnamony now. It's still spiky. It's more. It is, but that is off-putting, mm. and this is not. It's fair. This Jim is still, Beam Rye is the worst one. This is still winning. Old I'm Forcer, gonna say uh, Rittenhouse for me is worse. Forcer Rye is still the Mother best. Fucker. One. Yeah, that smells amazing. Oh, uh, let's see what we got. Mm. Kill bag. It's never tasted more banana-y. Kill bag and small batch rye. Never heard of it. Never had it. Mm, that's good. Bushwookie. We will get into a Willet Four Year in a minute here. It's uh, something it's, we've never reviewed. That's top shelf. Something I don't know that we've talked about very much, but we will get into it in Man. a minute. I feel like this should be our control. Baby sass. Yeah. Uh, what? I just drink some. It's so good. That's yeah, good. Christian said, must be how he buys all the bourbon, that Twilight money. <laughs> I'm not sparkly, bro. It's so good. I wish. This never gets old. <clears throat> that fucking book series made a shit ton. Let's see. Fuck you, Stephanie Myers. It touched that Pikesville. Not yet, Prez. We will. Different price and bracket. This was 30 and under. I think I bought an expensive Knob Creek rye, and now I'm terrified it's going to be gross. What is Knob it, Creek rye? Is it cast strength? Because if it's the cast strength, it's open good. and delicious. If it's a store, if it's pick, a store pick, usually good. <clears throat> more likely not good. Yeah. Uh, hopefully you didn't like pay way too much for twice barrel. Uh, sorry. Do you like the LaSalle over the cast strength? We both did. Um, yeah, breast. I think we both picked it for red first. Um, I did LaSalle and then cast strength, and you did LaSalle in 15, right? Then cast. And then yeah. cast. So cask is my second favorite, his third. Yeah. Um, that being said, um, Blanton's Bay, shout out to her. She gave us a sample of Red Breast 21, different level. Um, blows all of them away. <clears throat> oh. I still have some at home. I'd like to do that against uh, what? Like uh, a yellow spot, versus and then, like a red spot. First Red Breast 21. Yeah, we had a lot of views on our Red Breast. I'm not saying film it, I just want to do it for myself. I know, I was being sarcastic, but I think we did it wasn't bad, actually. I think it was way better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> I can pull um, those numbers up. Brandon's here. Can What's I clear this, on, man? Can I clear this? Yeah, dude, we're yeah. good here. Uh, let me take a sip. I haven't even tried it. I just know it's the best. Oh, here goes that. I was going to spin it, and then I, uh, yeah, got to, oh, no, now i got to bend down. I'm not getting it for you, though. Oh, my out. gosh. Like, this is the best. Here. I just want to stay for a while. <laughs> it's a little. Gabby said it's called the Irish skin tone. You can call it whatever you want. It's white as shit. I don't, I don't care what you call it. It is very white. Woo! Um, Expel hated Rittenhouse. Everyone kept saying that was such a bargain. Buy. It's disgusting. So here's the thing about Rittenhouse. Apparently. Cocktails. Apparently it is one of the best old fashioned whiskeys. It's like Tom Cruise and cocktails. You know that is probably not insanely expensive. I haven't tried to make a cocktail with it, but apparently it stands what up really well. What do you want really to jump well. to next? Now we're going 60. Oh wow, you, you're jumping some, because that's 50. That was 50? 55? No, it was not 55. Gab, send me the receipt. No, 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 nope. don't do that, Gab. For sure it was 55. Well, Maybe but there's 50. nothing in between 30 and what? Ah, whatever. 60? So, I mean, that's you want, there. Let's do 70. 70, yep. now you're really jumping. I mean, that was Will it in there. Will it's 50, so it puts it oh, in there. Yeah. Fuck. Put Will it down. That's put, not fair. Put the right. Taylor straight rye. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Pingree. And most of the High West. I'm not, I can't. What, Bring all the High West. No. Pick your favorite. I demand it. All of them. I won't do it. So if not midwinters, what did I pick? Seventy. 
Yeah, you're fucking stupid. Seventy dollars. All of them. The Rodney and Ryan store pick. This one. Yep, in the UPK because we can open it. I'll take it. We can open it. Because it's not open. So. Okay, so that also throws in this. No, no, no. Nope. Is this cask? Yeah. This is eighty. Seventy-five. Sorry. I refuse to drink the port finish again. It wasn't that bad. It isn't that good. And this was lackluster. That puts in Basil Hayden. Shut up. That puts in Dark Ryan. Well, we can leave Basil Hayden out, can't we? That's a pretty easy decision. That's just most of the shelf you're fucking calling out. Well, we got three brackets 70? here. Uh, 85. Yeah. Okay, so here's Brandon. It's not, okay. Brandon said late to the stream, did I miss the peerless tasting? We haven't drank you're it You're fucking this up, bud. No, I'm not. Listen, I want you're you to- Because you're going to do a high dollar one, and then we're going to be like, Kentucky fucking owl. Fucking me. As opposed to what? God. You're setting the brackets up. As opposed up, to we're... what? Well, you're okay, you set brackets, up the brackets bro. up. Go ahead. Ah, let's go fuck No, you set, I'll put them back. You set the brackets up. We should do uh, like 50 to 65. So we did 30. So now yeah. it's got to be above 30. Yeah. Okay, so you want to do. 40 to 60. So 40 to 60? Yeah. Okay, which, so this, this, this. I think these are all 40 to 60. This isn't, and this isn't. Thank God. Cut some. So put this back. Just, I'm, not okay. put, I'm not putting them back. Perfect. I said I would, I was lying. I'm already fucking sitting And down. this one stays in too. Yeah. Well, I'll put the Jim Beam ride back, please. Yeah, but I feel like that's a store. Like, these are, that's a store pick too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Speaking of store picks. Wait, I haven't even opened that yet. Look at, I opened it. Look at how gorgeous this bottle is. Just look at that. That's, uh, that's the same store that we have this see. at. I just want you to see how much better this looks than all their old nonsense labels. Yeah. Oh, I wish. Oh, you, you still have the cast ring? No. I was going to say, do you have the bottle, though? No. Looks cool bottle. I like that. Sipsy said that they did peerless enemas to start the show. I wouldn't <laughs> put that in my enema, if that's a thing. Oh, you put poop water in your poop hole. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey said, Rittenhouse over baby sass. So Jeffrey can see himself out. Okay. How dare you? I insulted someone How last time you? and you got real mad. Yeah. We're, we're, we're flip-flopping tonight. No, apparently. we're not, dude. We apparently are. We're coming in hot. Um, oh, I just skipped so many comments. I'm sorry. All the high flash. I'm sorry. We're back. Let's see. Um. <laughs> Imagine Jeff said it's like watching Twilight, but instead of wa wanting boring Kristen Stewart, he wants whiskey. I'm way more entertaining. Which too. one's better? Though? I can smile. Whiskey or Kristen Stewart? Whiskey. Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably high maintenance. I am too, so it probably worked just fine. Have it? you never? Oh, wait. That was it. All right, what's this bracket? Yeah, never. Uh, 40 to 60. 40 to 60. Apparently 40 to I 70 forgot. wasn't good enough. No, it wasn't, because you put in 15 extra now, bottles. Now we, now we can do 61 to 75, and all the High West stuff can be yeah. on the table. There's so many clean glands. There are eight. Yeah, and you're reusing them? Yeah. All right, I'm going to try to catch up on comments here. All right, you I'm going to start knocking them off. All Sean right. has a girlfriend. I had him. Never mind. <laughs> That was a man, I do. not a woman. I want you to know that because his ego will explode if you're a woman. But your name is James, so it'll work. Um, Dan's been mis mispronouncing Isla my whole life. Or, Dan. Oh, that's Sean. What's up, Sean? I've, I've been, been, I've oh been mispronouncing God. Isla my whole life, and I think it rubbed off on you. It's like Isle, uh, instead of, instead of Isle. Did I call it Isle? I don't know. I normally say Isla. Wow, Emma. I haven't had this in a long time, so I, I just had a little of uh, the old Pikesville in here. Pikesville's good, dude. Oh man, that's sweet. Oh. Joshua Nelson said, pulling out the piggyback tonight? You don't know that I have that or don't have that. You don't know me. No. no you don't know my life? Don't have it. <laughs> we don't have it yet. But! There was a yet. You wonder what the unfortunate part about that is? I get it tomorrow. So. Sorry. It'll be we like- We were hoping. It'll probably come out next Monday. I'm not gonna lie, that no. reminds me a lot of Baby Saz. This is Pikesville. So. Yeah. Like no. it's got that sweetness in there. Like that same. This is so much closer to Written House than Baby Saz, it's insane. You drunk? Uh, I had to burp and I was gonna do it right in your glass. It felt like it was too rude. It was felt. It's like harmful. really sweet. All right. There's just not a lot of spice there. Piggy, like piggybacks tomorrow, probably the breaking the seal on Monday will be the piggyback ride. We'll see. It'll be that or McKenna 10. Mm. Um, Damn. That is so much better than I remember that. 
Dude, Pike's feels good. That is solid, dude. We, the we proof is perfect on that too. You get a nice little sizzle, and it really amplifies the uh, the spice on the back end. Will it for you for the win? Yeah, you're gonna find. Yeah, out. that'll yeah, probably. You're gonna win. find out. Yeah, we'll probably win. Dan, try Bunahabin twelve or oh. Kilitoma. Yeah. That's I don't know. That's as good as I can do. You might like those, being that they have a low amount of peat. You know what I found the other day that I liked is uh, Glenn Farkless twelve. Big fan. Is it a stroke? Nope. I pronounced the Japanese name, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't get what people. Sipsy Russell. I don't. Oh, is this real housewives of Midway? Yeah, it is. Damn right, dude. You know what you tuned into. Don't pretend. My girlfriend's a doctor. His wife runs consumers. I don't know. No, not yet, but I'm working on it. You know what I mean? She's working. I'm on it. working on it too. Like I'm willing to do some dirty things. Um, um, the more this sits, um, it's really weird. I get like a Knob Creek, that waxy characteristic that I always get with them. Pikesville? Yeah. That's interesting. That got piney. Um, is this the uh, Pingree? That's weird. It's like citrusy, piney, piney. Oh my god, yeah it is. Wow. That's um, good. That's a, good. That's a way different uh, ballpark than the old Pikesville. Press Shinra says, I don't get what people taste in Basil Hayden. It's never wowed me. It's never wowed us either. Anyone. I don't know how they still sell whiskey. I like the new labels on the Kentucky, or I almost say it's Casey, Knob Creek. Dude, mm -hmm. me too. The new rye label, though, is so good. Like, it's even, it's way better than the black label. Ooh. That is just as spicy as I remember it. That's really good. It is good. That's man. young rye, too. Four uh, it's a blend of four and, and yeah. uh, MGP, though. So oh, I, don't know, I don't no, know. No, this is all their juice, but No, it's not. Did we have, have this, I was, I was, had this conversation? I was right the first time. Three wasn't I? times we yep. had this conversation. Yep, I was right and you were wrong the first time, and then I just tried to defend you being wrong. So, Expel says I'm not keeping up with you guys, but I know tomorrow will suck a bit at work. Here's the thing uh, like, the sips that I've been taking are so tiny because at some point I'm going to pour something that I can actually drink and enjoy. Yeah. It's, it'll be something like a Willet or something like that, but it won't be any of this stuff at the moment. Like, that much in a glass is so little. At this point. And I have a little collector that the stuff that I don't want to drink goes in. Because Chris, I, I like to party. Chris is in here, man. What's up, Chris? What's going on? Um, I right. haven't found no luck on the old Four Roses small batch select yet. But I got a little tip that tomorrow it might hit supermarket stores in Kentucky. So there goes the secondary pricing because it's not limited anymore. Good. Yep. See you later. Oh, well, the secondary pricing has pretty much already fallen out on that. It started, it, it, today 70, was the day that it fell. 75 is today what was I saw the day. today. 75 like, plus shipping. Whatever. So 90. It was still going for like 100. 120, plus, I think. Yeah. Was, 140 was like the first one or something. Yeah, the first couple, 140, and then quickly it started catching up. People were selling 120, yeah. 100, saw some this morning, 90, and then all of a sudden 75. So we're hoping to get one for cost plus shipping. Mm -hmm. Are you going to split that with me? Okay. You owe me 50 something right now. I don't think I do. Wait, what about the Pingry Red Label? Oh, we even. No, we split that, you oh, fucking we split retard. It? You owe me 25 for that. No, because I Chris has yours. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I owe you 25. And then we split the mic, which was 50, so I said, you know what, just give me 25 of that. I don't know if this is... Oh, no, we're actually even if I keep it, because then I paid 25 for red, and you paid 25 for red. So actually we're even, so either way. So I, I paid $50 and somehow you're getting 25 of it? How the hell does that matter? Because I, I bought the one we kept. All right, all yeah. right. Fucking dumb idiot. All right, so I'm just out of straight 50. Me too. How are you out of straight 50? Because You're I, getting 25 back I gave your 25 to a homeless person. <laughs> exactly. You're welcome. This is not how this math That's works. Perfect I'll explain karma. it to you someday. How <laughs> you're fucking I'm not me good out at of 25 math. I'm not good at math. Um, mm. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I like that. The finale is not Boss Hog from I Whiskey She Wines. It is not. No. It is not. So this is a six year... Wow, look at that. Uh, it was barreled on 11.5, picked, or oh, bottled wow. on 11.15. 10 days. Yeah. Different. So five years, or sorry, six years and 10 days. Dude, that bottle could not look better now. Uh, the it label is so better. clean. Like, Ugh, when people better. put out like a nice, just clean label, oh, Oh, I love it. And somehow this just doesn't do it for me. This is the piniest rye I've ever had. Uh, it's so orangey too. It's like pine needles and sap and citrusy. It's almost like they uh, chased their gin with it. Yeah, and that somehow honestly, got in there. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I feel like I should probably say this to you because I'm a nice guy. Oh. 
Somebody, uh, Morgan said Sean's a good sport, takes a lot of shit, like when I called him the Invisible Man. <laughs> Cheers, Sean. It, um... He does. He deserves it. Uh, yeah, we've so known each other for, I don't know, I was trying to years. think, yeah, forever and a day. 42. And we've pretty much been assholes to each other for all of those 47 yeah. years. That's pretty so much how it works. It's pretty much how most of our uh, friends in our, our group dynamic yeah. work anyway. It's we're, uh, we're, we're not, pretty much used to this. Um, I cut, actually cut out a part of the video from Valentine at the very end when I was talking in the car where I was like, I'm glad we got to meet Chris. We got along with Chris and his wife really well. We're abrasive people. Mm. We're, I think we're easy to get along with, but we're a lot. Does that make sense? <laughs> that is a, a very mild way of putting yeah. us. But yeah, I was to say. I cut it out of the video. Uh, Glenn Farkless 12 is great. Glenn Farkless. So the, the, it has like the spikiness like that I kind of want, and it's not peated or smoky. And I think that's why I like it so much. You've had that? I was, she wine says it hit stores in Lexington and Louisville today at the small batch must have. That's probably why the price died. Eventually, hopefully, we can get somebody. I, there are a couple, there were a couple people looking to cost plus ship it up here so we could do a review, which would be amazing. Um, I think this is gonna have to open up a bit. Yeah, well, ju it just feels, yeah, I know. I, I should have probably just opened it for you, yeah, but I probably. didn't. I don't like doing that for people. You know how I roll. Is the Whistlepig 12-year right any good song today and past? I don't know. We know. We've had it. We've had it once. Yeah. That's the old world. You know what I'm talking about? The red label. I thought they make two they, Nope. The the yellow and white know. label is a 10, okay. yep. and then the red is a 12. Then they have like that blue label, which is an 18. Dude, I mean, it was good. What's it the was price good. It? Is that 80? No, that's 120. <clears throat> The 10 is 80. The then. 10 to 80. The, Oof. This is why piggyback rye is such a big deal. People are missing the point. Because it's like 60 bucks. People are missing the 50. People are 50 missing bucks. the point of piggyback rye. And we haven't had it yet, so my expectations are a little high. You're getting entry level. Uh, Whistle Pig finally Whistle Pig. has an entry level yeah. like rye $80 whiskey. dollars is not an entry level. No. Nope. Yeah. I can buy Booker's or I can buy I can something I've never on, heard of or had. I can just stock up on Old Forester rye for that. What do you buy? Two and a half? More than that, bud. You I was right. talking leaders. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Covered it, nailed it. Yeah, this feels uh, really collapsed, but there's like a sweetness that's trying to come out of this. Hey, my bourbon journey is in here. Cheers, guys. What is going on, man? We had a lot of fun on uh, the old... Another table? Another, another round. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. You know what's funny? I want to say almost, final table. I almost said round table. You yeah. said another table. Oh, Interesting. Yeah. We got it. We were close. We had yeah. a lot of fun. You know what we are trying to say. Um... I'm not a really big fan of this. I like the the Woodford store pick, then I like the Snob Creek store pick right now. Stop talking. Why? Because that's not true. No Woodford Reserve pick has ever been better than a Knob Creek well, store. Well, here, I've already got this up nah. there. Throw some Woodford in here. ABM. I just found out today that I have uh, influenza, so have fun drinking out of that. I have one day to live. Perfect. So I'm finishing the wall tonight. <laughs> My wish finally came Dude, true. We're going to call this the wall. Like in Game oh, of Thrones. That smells like there's a lot of carryover from this glass. Well, How clean was it? There have been eight whiskeys in it tonight. So that I does mean, not smell like it's supposed to. Ooh. Noah's Mill. Not a huge fan. Don't hate it. Don't love it. If you like nutty whiskey, you like it a lot. Okay. Uh, what do we got here, man? CC 100% rye. It's sourced from the Alberta Premium like Whistle Pig, so it's kind of like a cheap Whistle Pig. What's CC? Copycraft. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is CC? And why don't we know? Cheap rye CC? CC 100% rye. CC is the is the whiskey. Oh. What's CC? I don't know. Somebody tell us. Inform us. It's probably going to be something super If common. anybody can, is in Canada and can get us whiskey lot from Canada, there's a lot 40 cast strength that we need from up there. Because I love having rye whiskey, talking about rye whiskey, and someone's always like, have you had lot 40 cast mm -hmm. strength? And we're like, <laughs> funny story. Okay. That, that like drink's that. hot. It does. Yeah. Like it, um, I mean, it's what, 115? Yeah. It, it's good. I mean, the Pikesville, like, there's a, a really good um, spice that the proof just goes Canadian Club. Duh. Holy shit. Listen, we've Thank done you. this before. No, no, no. We've done it before. Nah, we drink whiskey. I, I, <laughs> it's not a big deal, dude. We drink whiskey sometimes. As soon as um, they were like, what CC? And I said, it's going to be something super common. Yeah. Okay. I was going to see says, you're gonna name your bourbon yeah. collection after the wall just got knocked down. Bad karma. Listen here. Only part. There's a more of a hole in the wall than it being knocked down. Yeah. 
All right? It's not a big deal. It's just a hole. Well, you can fix it. Oh, Canadian Club. We were not even close at all. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. What's which one's which? This That's is Woodford. Woodford. Did you get a new glass? No, I just wiped yours oh. out with the. Oh man, this smells. I have to smell them next to each other, and I'm sure they're very different. This smell. This reminds me of Michter's toasted rye. A little bit. Yeah. It's got that nice light sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. Almost. Yeah. Like a like a toasted mm -hmm. aspect. It's really good, man. Richie's in here. What is going on, Richie? Everyone said Canadian Club because we're very stupid. Yeah. Everybody in the chat except us. <laughs> I just it. watched like six Canadian Clubs go in. I was like, mother of no, uh, One time we drank whiskey and one time we read a bottle and... Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to give us the benefit of the doubt because you said Coppercraft. We know something else called CC. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Wow. What's going on, Richie? Richie's in here. A hole big enough for an army of dead giants to walk through. Not wrong. We can fix it. I just put up a new rye shelf last night. Yeah, I 100% prefer that. What, the Woodford? Yeah. Um, Coming off that. I think that, this is going to become significantly more interesting. I think it is really collapsed on itself yeah. right now. I definitely get that waxy flavor out of it right now. Mm, okay. That is very typical I don't disagree. of Knob Creek I don't disagree. Uh, flavor profile that I always get out of them. But, yeah, this is, this is really good. I'll save that, actually. I don't need a rye that is dill for days. I don't dill. need it. Crown Royal, Harvest, Crown Royal Northern Harvest Rye's dill for days, Jack of All Blades says. I don't need it. I don't need that. I'm intrigued. What? You've never had a dilly rye? No. Really? Mm. What did I have? I'm trying to think of what it was now because I have it. I'm like, oh, it's so off putting. I remember you I don't saying like something it. about it and you were like, it tastes like pickles. Maybe. Yeah, and it's like, if it tastes what? Like, usually, if it tastes like pickles, it is not for me. That is good. That is really good. <laughs> Guy says, my uncle Emmett once told me about Canadian Club. Don't bring that shit in my house. <laughs> Listen, let pour this next to the Willet. That's what I want. Because this and the Willow are the heavy hitters of this lineup right here. Will you, will you grab that Willow, Mother please? Mother fucker, that smells good. The East Taylor Rye is amazing. Amazing, bro. I got another one. Down it. I got another one. Hey, we'll die. We got a backup. You, what is it? That is the 113.8 proof. Four-year Willet family estate. Aged in hand-selected right. white oak barrels for four years. Um... This is good, but this is definitely going to be lacking compared to this. Oh, I poured more of that. I figured you were going to want oh, that. Man. Man, honestly, that um, that's good. That has hints of like what the barrel proof kind of is. Mm, like that weird. like sweetness. So this is E.H. Taylor oh, straight rye. Wow, that's so different. Yeah, that's way richer. That's a will. There's a lot more in the glass, too, though. That might this be is, um, This one smells more complex to me, too. Like there are um, some more... Like a lot more going on in the the nose. This smells sweeter, more delicate, and easier to drink. It reminds me, it's more bourbony. I feel. Yeah, and I feel like you could pour this, and you just kind of chill, and it's more of like a background thing. It's really good. It's like I'm a huge fan or, fan of the Colonel Taylor Straight Ride, but I feel like it's a uh, it's an easy drinker. It's not ultra complex or anything like that. It's not gonna blow your face off. I get uh, nice ripe. Grapes. This is like really chocolatey rich. There's a nice subtle spice on that. Man, that is, let's make my mouth water. My bourbon drink just said that Willa is dill all day long. That's rude. How dare you. Good sir. Mm. This gets really um, clovey and I want a little tiny bit of cinnamon that E.H. Taylor does. Um, that might have a little bit of dill in it. Stop. You stop and you it stop. It might have a little you bit both of a, stop. a little dilly quick characteristic Dude, in there. You guys are ruining shit for me right now. This? Oh, I am really enjoying this right now. Just off nose, this this speaks volumes to me. It's so sweet. I know. And delicate. Pretty. Like, um, this is a bit more of the Pikesville um, speed of that sweeter rye. I think you're gonna call this dill. I'm gonna call it- Taste it. Like grassier note. Taste it. Like it's a young note. 
Mm. It's not dill. It's a little grain. But there's a... F- <sighs> taste it and think dill. And that's all you, all you taste is dill now, right? Whoever said that, thank you for ruining that for him. I hate you. I hate you and I hate you. And I liked you and I liked you and I hate you both. Scott said dilly dilly. My bourbon journey. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> I'm so tired you know of that. I don't even care. I don't care if it tastes like dill. I'm gonna rewire my brain. That's delicious. That's I don't breakfast. care. You just have some breakfast. It's nutmeg. It's cinnamon. These are cinnamon bombs. These are cinnamon bombs. I don't care what anybody Maybe says. Have you ever had a pickle? I've had several pickles. Oh man, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> just thinking about it. Any phallic looking food Chris really just gets you hungry? I had, I had some sausages today for lunch with no buns. So yeah, very literally. Just one bite. Yep. Uh, Chris says, give me the will up for you anytime. I don't get dill at all. I know, right? No, I'm, I'm literally just saying that to ruin it for him. I will say that there's, I think that there's something there's a graphiest, that can like be a, conceived as dill if you're... Oh, just you're really shit dill, on someone. If you're thinking dill, I could see it. I equate that one to um, like a grassier or a younger nose. There's like, there's a really good peppermint on the back of it that I really enjoy in the nose. That's so damn good, it's ridiculous. <laughs> With a pickle. <laughs> All right, we'll, let's pick our uh, favorite, least favorite, right? Uh, Belconis is the least favorite. Belconis, no, yeah, it is. That's the least favorite. How much is this? I can't even get it out. It's stuck. <laughs> no, you gotta. Oh, I wish you could see what was happening. It's stuck. This wish is... everybody could see you fight the bottle on the shelf. Okay, here's what I want to do. Let's pick our favorite first, and then we'll then we'll do our least favorite. Pick this your is favorite. fucking awful. Pick um, your, Taylor or will it probably right? I mean, yeah. For you? Uh, I mean, that pipe's. Are you wish... putting the pipe in the mix? Yeah. It's good. I just think it's. Uh, Did you had it? Yeah, it's, right it's good. Um, it's good. Um. This was really good. This is way better than I remember. It. Will it for me is by far the best one on in this uh, in the. I would, I'm 60 really and leaning under? towards the uh, the straight right. Are we doing sixty and under? Yeah. Okay, in the sixty and under, I'm gonna go with Will it. Yeah, it's not that. I guess I'm not misremembering that. When you well, when, I think the Coming issue is off of, yeah. when you compare it to these two, it's not there. When you compare it to these, it's it's good. So are we, I'm going to put some of these back. You good with that? That's fine. Oh, yeah. I'm going to set that over there because I want to come back to that. Really enjoy that. Um, um, oh, we didn't do this one. Man, I would be happy with either of these, honestly. Like, jeez. We didn't man. do this one. I'm not drinking that. Why? It's good. That bottle can fuck off. Is it good? No, it's it awful. Smells good. It's got chunks. A lot of chunks. It's better than Pikesville. No. Oh, it is for real. It's not the best. Um, I'm gonna go with E.H. Taylor. Okay. I like me, that more than the Willet. Give me this. Okay, you're gonna go with E.H. Taylor. Yeah. And I'm going with Willet. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're really wrong. Well, you I, can, I just can, like the E.H. Taylor flavor profile more. Did you? We want them. At least everybody knows your palate shit. Okay. So, that, okay. well, I wanna, no, no, no. Okay. I wanna compare it with this. I mean, that's not even as good as this. I don't know why you'd even keep that out. Is that Belconis? We're picking our least favorite. There are more rinds in there. We didn't have Knob Creek rind in there, but that wouldn't have wanted anything. I don't want to drink either of these, dude. How wide is the Pingree distribution? I haven't seen it. It's Michigan. definitely not in California. Um, so he said they were expanding. Soon. But I don't know when. I wish I could remember when. It's probably on a video. They, well, it's definitely in the raw, and that's only like an hour. Um, but that's two, bud. Two hours. Now you just gotta look at the last half. That's when we're talking about distribution. Um, so I know it's coming soon-ish, but I don't think he actually ever put a date on it. Um, but but he just said that they're looking to try to dis they're working with people now to um, open up their distribution network. But the distribution where they're starting is the surrounding states of Michigan. Mm -hmm. So so the distribution isn't even moving to California. Yeah, we're no, talking like Ohio, Indiana, Wisconsin, stuff yep, like that. It'll be yeah. Our 
I don't, I don't think it's going to New York. So it'll be our four, basically, sister yeah. states. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you guys are sisters, too. You aren't brothers. No. We're the brother. We got all the fresh water over here. You do know we share those, right? No, no, no. We run this shit. <laughs> We're a hand. Is there you, anything more you know, threatening than a hand? Do you know Wisconsin thinks you're the mitten state? Wisconsin thinks they're yeah. the mitten? Have you ever seen them? Have they looked at a map? Do they not have those in Wisconsin? Maybe that's the issue. Maybe Wisconsin never went to school. And they never saw a map. And they always thought, we look like Michigan. <laughs> Okay, so we'll do our least favorite of this price category. We got Balcona's I'm Texas... I'm not putting any of these in a fucking glen. No, me neither. Balcona's Texas Rye 100 proof. Blah. Pot distilled 100% rye whiskey. Blah. Or... Valentine's does not ship out of state. Dude, it's hard for us to find Valentine from time to time in Michigan. You're going to enter that into these. This is the least offensive thing on the shelf. It's just fucking awful. Go buy it. No, no. It's uh, just not <laughs> offensive. Like, there's nothing to it. It just doesn't exist. It's just not. You know what I mean? Um, These are the two, bud. I'm telling yeah, you right now. You're definitely right. I'm telling you. Uh, you know, you're good. Oh, fuck, dude. Okay. Okay. Knob Creek twice barreled. Lots of people liked it. I don't know why. We didn't. Which one are you going with first, dude? These are going to be... One, one of these two is our least favorite. I feel this is the worst of the evils. I really think that that's going to be the worst one. I think so. I don't know. Todd said, have you guys had uh, Blonde Bros Nodder Rye? I got a barrel and brews, Storbic, at 123.8. That's got to be amazing. Oh my god. How does that smell like tequila? We <laughs> what the fuck? What? We smell have, it. We have a, think tequila. We have a Blonde Bros pick that should be up here tomorrow that somebody cost plus shipped us graciously, very graciously. Uh, we'll open that up, and uh, we not we don't. It's a it's a nodder, but it's a bourbon. So, oh, oh tell my. me I'm not wrong, bro. For a second, I almost gagged. I don't want to drink that. I'm gonna drink it. It smells. Look at it how literally it smells like tequila. This is the darkest whiskey, and it even says on the back, never chill filtered or colored, aged at least 15 months in Texas. What the fuck is Texas doing? Now here's the thing. Well, it's all remember that's the one with all the weird rye in it. The chocolate yeah, rye. It's, chocolate it's rye. got seven rye. It's, yeah. it's four. Jesus fucking Christ. Dippy McDip said Sean looks so excited to pick his least favorite. <laughs> Such a baby. Elven rye. Are you trying to remember? Oh. No, I'm reading it. Knob Creek Twice Barrel Rye. Elven Let's rye. see. I'm pretty. I remember leather Crystal tobacco. Crystal chocolate roasted. Yeah, it's four. Fuck you. I'm right. Fuck. That just smells like coffee and bullshit. It's not that bad, I just don't like it. Oh. It's just it's just so tobacco-y, like it's so cigar-y, this this is. Wow. Have you ever cleaned, uh, like we've got a really exp expensive coffee maker mm -hmm. that has like coffee grounds in it. And when I empty those, I can smell them. Yeah. And that's what I, it tastes like, I'm pretty sure. Oh, um, like disgusting used coffee grounds. I'm, a, I'm thinking that's what that is. I think, I don't. And then, holy shit, 15 seconds later, chocolate. Chocolate. I don't think, th this bottle, I don't think is, uh, is a bad bottle. I just don't think either of us like it. I think this one is more of like a palate profile issue for us. Wow, there it is. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, that's so cigar -y to me. About like three quarters of the way of the palate. Like, I was like, oh, it's like nice oaky cinnamon. It's not bad. And then all of a sudden something happens and that tastes like bullshit. Ah, Balconis wins. Mm -hmm. You get like super strong coffee. But it's bitter. Yeah, coffee grounds mm. are bitter. Eat some. No, it's like disgusting. It's like use it's like sour mash of coffee. It's like coffee sour mash. It's like if you used the grounds and then you used them again and then you spoon fed them in your mouth. Oh, you know what's super funny? As I'm also thinking back. Oh you never gosh. went back to the live stream to see me say twenty years. No, I didn't. I don't have time for that. Definitely did. 
Yeah, I know you did. I said I definitely that. did. I said that, and you were like, no, I didn't. I'm Sean, and I know everything. All right, man, man. I was having a good night. All right, so what's the next category, mister? You're, you're the category maker? I, 61 to 75. That's a really small category, because we just yeah, did 30 to 60. every fucking high west. We did 30 to 60 before this. I mean, realistically, we could do 60 to 80. 80 that, that just hangs around, too. Yeah, yeah okay. that's why I did the twice barrel. 60 to 85. I dropped pressure. I don't know where this is at. Second more cast. Is it down here? No, it was in front of the... It was in front of the Russells. On the squatty shelf, because it fits on the squatty shelf. It was right here, right? No, it wasn't. Okay. Second more cast. Bottom. Um, yeah, that's it. Yep. Um, this, the oh, Rami. Uh, oh, the yeah, Burai, the Yubikai, and the Burai. Ew, I'm not drinking that. Okay, then leave it there, because it's not going to win anything. No, it's not. The Traverse State needs in it. Mm-hmm. That, that'll be the top of it, then. It would be. Yep, that's it. Um, Peerless and everything else up there is not. Yes. Cool. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. I'm, what's midwinter? Uh, 90 to 100. Yeah. I thought it was 85. No. If it was 85, it would be the best whiskey ever. Oh had. my god. For 85, um, it's. This 80. is uh, actually going to be a tough bracket, I feel. This will probably be the hardest one. Mm. Except midwinter is better than Kentucky Owl. Not even fucking close to true. I don't even taste those to know that. Uh, Burry, in my opinion, is not worth getting unless you just want to finish out a High West collection and you want to try it all. Yeah, it's um, pretty lackluster all around. I just around. don't think it's that great. And it's not cheap. 80, 80 I think. Ooh, I, this is one I've, I want to try. Ooh. What did you start with? This. Um, okay, I think these are both. Let's I think I was going to do these and yeah. then go. Yeah. Here's the thing. We're, it's going to be a hard least. I guess the least favorite of this bunch would probably be Burr Rye. I can just say uh, that. Yeah. I, that. I mean, I literally said I'm not getting that bottle, so. There's nothing else over there for... Uh, I would say that I like the Burr Rye less than the Sagamore Port. So. Oh my gosh. I don't know the mash bill on this. <sighs> what is it? Uh, the Sagamore. I don't remember what it is. Um, it smells like really corny. Sifty says, I strongly dislike Kippy Kaye. I think that that's a hit or miss one for people. I think that's what I know, I remember too. trying it, like, what, that was like the first bourbon yeah. meetup that we had. Someone brought Yippie Kaye, right? Nope. It was, um, it, they did, but we tried it when we went to the Grand Rapids thing. Grand Rapids thing? Uh, the thing where we didn't win anything. Oh, Smitty's thing. Yep, 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 yep. So, disappointment. I won yeah. disappointment. <laughs> you won anger. You won anger management lessons. Yeah, I'm working on it. Still to this day. Chatster 311 says, I've got a bottle of Midwinter, one of my favorite bottles ever. <clears throat> His probably. It is, the, yeah. it is one of the best whiskeys that has ever been made over and over. Wow. I like this a lot. I, I think I like this more than I remember when we opened it. We love that. You keep thinking we, we no, didn't no, like no, it. No, 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 we, we didn't we didn't love the regular, and then we were like right. hoping this was just going to be a fortified regular. Right. I've, I've never said we hated it. it. I was. just think it's better than what I remember oh, it's it really, being. It's really, really yeah. good. Yeah, it's really good. Like, I remember it being good, but it smells amazing right now. You're going to do Little Book 2. We have Little Book 2. That's a good idea. That's 100. 100 what, bud? Book. Oh, it is 100, isn't it? At least, yeah, 90 something, I thought. And that's, yeah, that's uh, men. Double rye. That's a good bottle. Did we not? We didn't. This is sweet and spicy. Double yeah, rye was win. in the last category, bro. Was it? It ain't winning. It's, it's not beating Willet. Uh oh. It's not beating Willet. For a 30 to 40 range, I would say for an under 40, it's probably going to win. Outside of Old Forcer Rye, it's going to win. I know, but I love Old Forcer Rye so much. Okay. Okay, a lot of people said I like double rye, but I like rendezvous more. That's what Chancellor just said. Man, this is starting to get like a, a little bit of a funk in there. Yeah, so rendezvous is expensive here. Yeah. But that rendezvous, that rendezvous barrel, that, that, that barrel select was very cheap at the Niagara Falls. Holy shit, dude. Niagara, fall, <laughs> I'm done, dude. I'm done. Good night, guys. Have a great one. There goes our channel.
You can't, you gotta stop dropping end bombs. End bomb? Oh, I said Niagara, bro. Did you though? Okay, that was, <laughs> that wasn't good. Dude, I you can't, can't do that with a full bottle. This is yippee ki I know. I can do whatever I want. It's a new bottle, I can bro. do whatever I want with yippee ki As a person I want it to air out. I want day. it to air out. It is what it is at this point. I hate you so much. I missed, sign so normally I overshoot, I undershot. Yeah, because it's a full bottle. What's that have to do with anything? So like, it doesn't carry momentum. It, no, it starts pouring extremely early. That's my problem. So it wraps around and will come. So down. otherwise, I would have been dead on. So normally, you're just like, and it just shooting out like a fucking semi. Normally, I would have killed that. I don't even remember what I was talking that about was right now. Like that was a lot of table. I hate you. <laughs> There's that long for. Somebody was waiting for it. Somebody wanted it. There it is. Um, this guy is like. It's really weird. It almost tastes like a, a Finnish High West. What is it? Sagamore? Yeah. It, Sagamore is good. All four of these I think are good. I think you'll like the Yippie Kaye the least. All the rest are really good. That that has like that vermouthy, um, almost bitterness to it. Oh. That good, huh? That's Traverse City. That's really good. Oh, that's Traverse City. Yeah. Okay. I thought you... No, you. Oh, okay. I'm letting it open I, up. I literally can't just see that bottle. Yeah, I cannot see that. Okay. You can't see the bottle. Please don't. We just you are really it. hitting the shit out of the table tonight. So. <laughs> we are. We have 100% switch spots. Yeah. yeah. In the $60 range, what do you think about Prohibition 1920? I think buy the shit out of it. I don't think there's a better bottle um, that is mass produced around. I don't think there's a. I don't. It's, it, this is really kind of a niche thing. I don't think there's a better bottle. Under eighty dollars, that's not allocated. That is readily available. That is mass produced. When we like, we haven't done a BJ battle in a while, um, just because we've been doing other content. We're gonna start doing some more soon. Are we? And yeah, we will. First, we've talked about it. No, it isn't. Go fuck yourself. Um, like on those ones, if we agree on anything, it's usually disqualified. And like a lot of times, nineteen twenty fits a lot of different categories, and we normally are just like, all right, so that's out. Okay, I mean, it's just really, really good. It wins so many different categories. It, yeah, it's a good, it's a good staple. Somebody said Rare Breed Knob Creek Single Barrel are better than 1920. Oh, I, I don't know about that. I, I don't, I, I have, don't agree with that. I didn't know if you would agree with the Rare right Breed. Right now, I have the best Rare Breed I've ever had, and it's that LLG. It is amazing. Me and Gabby, we ran through that. Yeah, you keep telling me that. After seeing your Woodford bottle over there, I believe you. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a 30, what, $40 bottle? Mm -hmm. what, that's a great daily. If we're gonna have a, a pour while we're sitting on the couch watching whatever, it's a great bottle to grab. That's good. Um, right? It's that's got good. like a, a really different, it's like. It's almost like um, it's finished. Yeah, that's it's what I said. It's got like that it's like finished. weird almost vermouthy. But no, Ooh. that Rare Breed, great. Uh, 1920 still destroys it, I feel. <laughs> Jeffrey Wax said, Dan, better palate. Sean, better long pour. That's not even, of course. You're agreeing to both of those things. I, no, I like just that. a long no, no, pour. You said of course? With you have no a stipulations. Gosh, man, that's hilarious. Right, you do, if you haven't had Rare Breed, you should try Rare Breed. For 44 bucks, or 43 bucks, or 45 bucks, or Really, really good. Mm. Which one of those do you like more? Holy I think, shit. Oh, they're Look really at that. Different. Run down that glass. That's got a lot of like clovey yeah, in the, the finish. Injury. Really spicy. It packs a punch. I, like I, I, I really like the uniqueness of the Sagamore though. Yeah. Me too. Like it, that's different. I like that a lot. Out of everything we've had. Mm, that's good. That's really good. I'm just gonna. What's that? That was the one that I was gonna come back to. That was my uh, store pick. But I just, I just know I'm not going to. It's good. That's how you make it through a night. Well, I mixed both of those together. Oh. <laughs> you just don't do that. I didn't know that. I did not know that. When you looked over, I was like, I'm like, which one of these is which? So I dumped them together. <laughs> Here's the thing. Together. Really, really, really bitter. I bet you that. I was gonna say, I bet you the finish just destroys each other. Really bitter. 
does not pack the dill, as they would say. Dan packs the fudge. Wow, about lost my Glen there, huh? Yeah, almost. Hey, I heard that ting. It's almost Glen down. Okay, so, Sazerac, nope. Yippie Kaye versus <laughs> Sazerac. You eat today? It's so far away. The problem is when I actually eat keto, especially a few days in a row. Yeah, bro, you gotta have some carbs. I did. Just had two pretzels. Eat. All right. That. For dinner, I had nine eggs, carbs. cheese, ham. There's carbs. You had pizza there. without pizza. No, I had eggs, cheese, and ham. Eggs. Eggs was the base, dumbass. You put eggs on you, pizza? Yeah, that's how you make a crust. Eggs? Yeah. No, I had scrambled <laughs> eggs. Let me rephrase. Ah, uh, you're just missing like flour. Yeah, I'm just missing a few ingredients. It could be breakfast pizza. You could have said that. I already poured this. Oh my god, Dan. Bro. It is what it is. Ooh, I can't even you see. You won't like this at all. Can't even see the glass. So. Sean has an infinity glen working. You can see the glass now, Not so again. now it's kind of cheating, isn't it? Well, if you Woo! I'm going to be honest. If you wouldn't have whiskey throttled out of that one, yeah. that would have been perfect. <laughs> You hit it right on the head and then whiskey yep, throttled yep. and then lost it. It, it glugged forward. You just drove straight into a house because of the old whiskey throttle. Now, here's the thing. That's one of my favorite rides I've ever had and you poured it on the table. So I'm a little upset because I can't get another one of those. I literally cannot get another one of those bottles. Let me spread it out. And it's one of my favorite rides I've ever had in my life. <sighs> Whoa, whoa, I really like that. That's the UPK. I like that. It smells really dry, I thought. It's like honey. Let me smell it. Oh my god, I know that smell. Can I have one of them? I don't yeah, care which one. one. Um, I need, I need a minute to work on this one. So this one is Rendezvous Rye Store Pick. Finished in Hungarian oak for three months. Which is a short finish. ADHD is a super short finish. ADHD messaged me earlier. Because you know how a while back I was looking for a son of Burr Eye. Mm -hmm. He said, are you still looking for a son of Burr Eye? I said, yeah. Or he said, it's Dan. I said, yeah. He said, fire Sean, we'll work something out. I said, you got, <laughs> Done. Yourself, you got yourself a deal. Um, a bottle smelled, of whiskey? It smells like cinnamon waffles with a slab of hot butter on it. <laughs> what? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does, dude. That's... That's really good. Okay, I don't hate. I definitely cinnamon for sure. Mm -hmm. But it's got like a. I would say brown, almost a bready, like richness to it. I would say cinnamon waffles. What are those trees that start with an S? <laughs> not sapphire. That's that's a gemstone. Yep, not those. Saffron. Is that a that's tree? an herb. Okay. It smells like saffron. You have no idea what saffron is. Not a clue. You didn't know where Washington, D.C. was. The others are you knowing what saffron are. Oh my goodness, that tastes like gin. Finished in vermouth mm. and siren barrels. I don't know what siren, siren. Don't know what that is. Really? S Y R A H or N. What's funny is, like, yeah. I really don't get a lot of that. That vermouthy smell to it. No, um, it doesn't. It's not super dry. It tastes a lot different than others. There's none of that like uh, dry, almost bittery smell into it. Ari says Templeton rye castor. I refuse to. I refuse to buy Templeton because of some of like the stuff mm. they've had issues with in the past and Ooh. like really scummy business stuff like that. It's on the palate though. Yeah, it is. That. What's funny? Sycamore. Is that's what I was sycamore, thinking, dude. Yeah. Sycamore. It smells like a sycamore tree. You can't be that fucking confident about a smell when you don't know what it is. I couldn't remember the name. There are lots of words I know that I can't always remember. <laughs> it happens daily to me. Um, what's funny is the sagmore isn't finished. And that is, and that I think tastes more um, of a vermouth style finish. This to me tastes more fruity finished. Mm. Even though it's not finished. And this tastes more like a drier... It, it is on the palate. This to me smells like the best rye in this lineup. Um, I haven't tried that yet. But I think it's going to win. 
Man. Mash and Drum. The Rare Breed bottles with LLGG slash... Or, and then, LLG, yeah. And then LLGH, LLGI, LLGJ, GK codes on them have older turkey juice in them. That's weird. They replaced the 8 with 10 to 11. So, somebody actually DM'd us on Instagram and said, uh, if you find an LLG, because I had an LLF, that we should pick it up. Sean had an LLG in his house. I didn't even know it, but he was like, hey, go look and see if you can find an LLG. And I just happened to be um, in, well, Bay City. Yeah, you know, you text me and you're like, hey, I'm at, I, I'm at the store. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, hey, I, I heard that they yep. have one there. Yep. And they did. So I was like, can I see the laser code on that? And he goes, why, is there something good? And I said, yeah, maybe. And I just checked the first one. I said, oh, it's LLF. He, he was like, do you want to check them all? I said, I'm sure, but I'm going to guess that they're all LLF because this is in the front. So usually first in, first out. And the two behind it were LLG. And I was like, oh, shit, uh, yeah, I'll take it. And the guy next to me was talking. He was like, oh, I'm, like, getting into bourbon, you know. Like, is this, like, something good? I said, hey, man, you won't regret this. This is a $40 buy or 40 something dollar buy. Just buy one. So I gave him one. He bought it. Um, hopefully he liked it. Rare Breed is the gateway drug to barrel-proof whiskey. 100%. We'll talk about that. That was another one um, that will be coming soon is barrel-proof whiskeys. So. Yeah. On a last year? Yeah. Yep. Um, Man, they're like... Sipsy says Syrah, uh, Syrah is how you're supposed to pronounce it, is like a Sriracha. wine. Sriracha. It's a wine. Oh. Sriracha. There's like a really like dry characteristic on this nose. Um, yeah. This one's so sycamore-y. Uh, I've never even seen a sycamore tree in your fucking I've life. I've cut them down with an axe. Are they even in Michigan? I don't think so. <laughs> so Skid McMurk says, I swear if you take an LL slash G rare breed, add water. You need to listen to this because you should try it for real. Okay. So take a rare breed, add some water, okay. rest it for 45 minutes. That's a long time. Are we put, talking cap? Put a whiskey cap? hat on it. Okay. I don't, he didn't say that. I'm just guessing. It tastes like an oaky apple pie. Oh. You had me at hello. Um, Can you bring me some apple pie tonight? So I don't ever, like... I don't ever add water to Rare Breed just because it is, I mean, it's 116, which is up there, but it always just drinks so smooth. Um, I remember like when Gabby was first getting into whiskey, she would drink like 80 to 90 proof and be like, oh no, it's bad. And now like we talk about like, that's one of our daily sippers. It's mm -hmm. 116.8 and not a problem. Um, that, that one- Alcohol, go ahead. That's a gateway to barrel proof. What is? Like, I I'm swear back. to God, I just said that. I'm reiterating what you said. I know, you but you're hole. even using my sentence to say it. Yeah. Like, like it was your own idea. No, I'm trying to give you credit on something. You didn't say like Dan said. You just said insert damn sentence. Said that is, and I was nodding to you. I nodded. You like, should do more than nod. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Uh, Mash and Drum says all the eight year wild turkey from the last year was taken for long branch, so they had to oh. blend 101 and rare breed with older whiskey. It's a long branch the other day. We have long branch here. Where'd you have it at? Right there. You had this? Mm -hmm. hmm. How was it? Mesquite? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, got, it's got some weird spiky finish to it. it that's probably the mesquite. I don't, I don't love it. But if you that want, one wins. if you want um, more in depth information than we provide, Mash and Drum's a good place to get it. Yeah. He's always on that up and up when it comes to info and the bourbon whiskey slash whatever he on the bottle. He gives so much more information than we do about yeah. things. Significantly more educational. <laughs> Some would say. Good guy. No, everyone would 10 say. out of 10 good guy. All right, let's see. Yeah, DJ, like Dan said. Yeah. Did you, did he say, did you say like Dan said? No. I'm sure you didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, of course I you literally didn't. was just nodding to you being like, like yeah, next time you, I'll just say the exact same thing you said, but I'll look at you and nod because okay. that'll make it the same thing. No, like, don't, you know, don't go fuck yourself. <laughs> Context clues. Tim <laughs> Simpson said, I always, say, I always say rare breed is a gateway to barrel proof. Said it first, trademark. <laughs> Damn it. Everybody just copies me, man. Like, I have all these ideas and, like, uh, quotes. I have lots of quotes. I speak really well. Everybody knows I can find words. You're literate. Like, I got a dictionary in my head. You know what I mean? I'm just sorting through it all day. You maybe you can't remember them. I constantly them. So run it's just out of question words. Marks. Yeah, I constantly am like, what's that one? Like, you got a Pokedex that you haven't seen shit on. It's all just fucking question marks. <laughs> <It's> all... 
<laughs> like some of the Pokemon are gray still, because I've seen them, but I don't remember them, and I don't have any data. Oh my gosh, Angel, Angel Envy, Rye, 50% water, dip a sugar cookie in it. Oh, what in the world? Okay, if you want to eat fresh baked chocolate chip cookies, and they got to be good ones, not the shitty bready ones. Fresh baked chocolate chip cookies, you, you get that Jameson Stout Castmate. Back to this bullshit. Bro, did you see the picture on Insta I posted? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I did. Mandy made some I cookies did. that night. And I'm All like, right. this will go great with him. I was right, it went incredible. You uh, ready to vote? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's a store pick though. Best. Hey, you poured it um, on the table, you dick cheese. You're welcome. I'm not welcome, I'm sad. You're welcome. I'm very sad. You're basic. Um, I, I, that is true, agreed. <laughs> This is probably my favorite out of the other three, though. I will say that. The the Sagamore cask. Okay. I it's, like all four of these. I Yeah, I don't dislike yeah. any of them, but uh, this one has... It's uh, interesting. Yeah, it is very interesting. Yeah, it's, it's got sourced, a lot of flavor. It's sourced whiskey. Um, these are, you know what's funny? All yeah. of these are sourced and blended. Every one of these. Yeah. That's funny to think about. Didn't think about it until right now. Will you grab the burr rye real quick, the new one? That's this year's burr rye. I just want to taste it. Confirm that it's my least favorite. You fucking stand up, asshole. I don't feel bad about dumping your shitty whiskey out. <laughs> you, know, you know the uh, dip a sugar cookie in it? ADHD says dip a no in it. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Oh. Uh, he's good with them. Yeah, man. Alright. That smells fucking awful, dude. Skidmark says, I heard whiskey can actually get thicker if you add water to a point. Since uh, alcohol is a thinner, since alcohol is thinner than yep. water, I have no idea how true that is since I'm not a chemist. He's kind of one, uh -huh. um, but it seems legit. Sean is a chemist in the same way in which I am a NASA engineer. Is engineer my title? A thousand percent. Legally, contract binding, it is. Now, could I be a NASA engineer? Definitely not. Is chemist in Sean Sale? Yep. Does he, can he do chemistry? Definitely not. <laughs> I'm actually getting patented now. Uh, you got it? Yep. Dude, congratulations. You're getting your Made name it. on it? Yep. Oh shit. Yep. Why are you saying that? We gotta pop some bottles. Forgot about that. We popped everything. We got nothing um, left to pop. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know about that. So. No, you you won't make it uh, thicker when you add water, um, because it, you're always gonna drop the viscosity down. But like, what a bit, a tiny bit of water. No, one drop. No, one drop. You get a lot of hydrogen bonding out of water. Of course, yeah. yeah. But that doesn't really play a factor for viscosity. Typical. I get that. Yeah, that makes sense. What's your least favorite one? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even try this. I, I oh. literally smelled it and said no. No, that one's that's probably top two. That smells like dick cheese, dude. And like real bad. It I don't like not, that. It doesn't smell that bad. It's just not that good. Okay. It's um, $80. Least favorite is probably... It, it probably just goes on a nice scale like this for me. Mike M says pop the peerless. Why are you guys assholes? You know? Everybody just likes it. Yeah, we'll get there. Here's the deal. Yeah, we'll get there. Throw these back. You are being a real lazy Mick asshole tonight. You're sitting on that side. If they're on this side, I'd do it. The more I drink, the less I remember my legs hurt. Um, I think you're loosening up. Nah, you're I'm gonna you're getting like, lubrication I'm gonna feel like a, It has you're to gonna, swing lube. You're going to be uh, dehydrated tomorrow, and you're going to feel like that. I'm going to drink so much water. To it doesn't matter. Day. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go home and drink so much water. Okay, so here's what we got. What's the next category? What was that one? I feel like we, so we went to 80. Okay, so 80, 80 we both agreed that our rendezvous rye store pick from the Niagara Falls store, best one. Yeah, so Which I one? say like, rye um, from 2018. go up to 105. Or 2019, whichever one just came out. So now you're talking 81 to 105. You're not, just, just I, top it out. I feel you're like gonna, they're, they're gonna be in their own class. Cause like, yeah. Okay, yeah. that, those, in Midwinter Nights and Peerless. I just didn't want to drink this. That's, I think that's it. I think that's it. But all these win for different reasons. Mm, no, they don't. Oh my gosh. Those are three of our favorite bottles. <laughs> oh, oh no! no. Oh, thank God we already poured the sample for I Whiskey Sheet Wines. We can still send that out. Alright. 
Which one's your Hungarian oak? Expel said, I vote on Pablo the George T. Stag since I want an excuse for some. I know it isn't right, but whatever. Listen, it's already open. This one, the, the oak? I have no clue. Are you drinking either of them? Nope. Can oh, I... little book. Oh, fuck, yeah. That's 100. Oh, no. We that? keep forgetting a little bit. It's over in the barrel proof. Oh, it's like fuck, not, yeah. It's not technically. It's, I always it is it. a rye. Actually, technically, it is a rye. Yeah, it is. It's mostly. So, this is why I always forget it's there. Because it's literally a Booker's bottle next to an entire Booker's lineup. We have never had um, Little Book One. I've heard terrible We've things. We've uh, heard awful things. So, I mean, okay, so this is. Where's the blend down it? Yeah. Eight year Kentucky straight rye. 40-year-old Canadian rye, 13-year-old sure. Canadian rye. So it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. We're dumb. But, yeah. No, no, no. No, we're dumb. Man, I always think it's a, like an eight-year bourbon. We always think there. it's two ryes and a bourbon. You yeah. and me both always think that. So, well, this will be interesting. I can tell you which one's in the last. Do you want to knock that one out first, or do you want to wait? Yeah, let's just fucking get this over with. Okay. You want to ruin a Glen? Why did you shoot? I feel like the sediment of the shit was on the bottom. I gotta slap it the fuck around to let it know. I ain't afraid of yeah, it. Yeah, wake it up. Slap it, wake it up. It's such a good topper, though. It's pretty good. I get more annoyed with it the more I see it. Mike M, don't drink the Peerless. I was joking. Spare yourself. No, man. No. We've had every bad one. Listen, I think honestly, I almost literally threw up. Honestly, the Belconis, I was, Just, I would argue the Belconis is as bad as this. Worse. Worse. Yeah. We should have the worst off. That's not even fucking fair. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like Little Book is really polarizing. Seems like a lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it. I heard like, that a lot about the first one. I actually heard a lot of bad things about the first one. The second one, so I heard less like bad things about. that's just like shitty fucking ride. The Belconis is, is literally fucking offensive. And there I am. I'm, I'm on to that. There you go. It took that many... That many for me to be angry enough to drop that many consecutive f bombs. Like that's just horrendous, <laughs> and the Belconis is offensive. <laughs> it's weird because like I feel like at this point in my life, it takes a lot for whiskey to make me upset, like uh, like uh, like cringe, like oh, you know what I mean? Is that an actual clean blend? Yep, that's the last one. No, there's another box. Nope, that one's all dirty. You didn't wash these? I didn't wash. No, no, no. I didn't wash 12. I washed 8. You're welcome. They don't look that dirty. Sean shows up at 8.58 ready to shoot after I set everything up and clean everything and then complains about it. I don't know what was in there, but smell that. It's not After true. the peerless. It's close to true, though. It's not exactly wrong. Let's put it that way. Uh, Something finished. It smells delicious. I want that because I want to rinse it. Do you have the Norman uh, cloth? Yeah. Um, are you drinking either of these? Nope. Okay. Infinity Glen. Dude, that thing's got some color on it. Here, bud. What are you uh, rubber down? Like a nice Asian massage parlor. You already water parlor. that? Hmm? You already water that? Yeah. Oh, there was a <laughs> lot left in there. There was a lot more than that. cold. Thought. That was chilly. Yeah. All right, so this ones one. I don't think are going to win, but I'm willing to drink right now. Yeah. Peerless loss. If you're wondering, if you're um, just tuning in. Oh, yeah, shut up. Shit, we didn't announce the giveaway, and I meant to announce that like Tonight? earlier. Yeah, I meant to announce it earlier. Because if people in here haven't seen our Instagram, then they haven't seen the giveaway. Oh, hey, you should uh, definitely go watch our uh, Straight from the Barrel video. Well, no, the we're giving some of that away. But the and, giveaway's not in the video. That's but you have to comment on that. Can I just say it since you're just fucking murdering it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So we're doing a giveaway of Blanton's things. All the wings um, for free that we have. So the giveaway is you get. I'll tell you what you get first. You get a sample of Blanton's original, Blanton's straight from the barrel, Blanton's gold, and Blanton's store pick. A uh, two ounce sample of each one. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, follow us on Insta. That one's a little bit less strict, and then. Um, Comment on the Blanton Straight from the Barrel video that just says Blanton's Giveaway in your comment. Or just watch the video and leave a comment on what, what you thought. Well, but I said Blanton's Giveaway. Like, yeah. that was part of it when I started it. Yeah, but some people were just commenting and, like, not saying Blanton's Giveaway. So the normal people who comment on all of our videos will be entered. Because they're, yeah. they're always there. Those, yeah. are, those are our supporters. Those are the OGs, and we love you. 
But I, I, I I'm just like telling were, everybody else, it's easier for me. But I feel like there were other people that were commenting, being like, hey man, glad you're doing this. And didn't say Blaine's giveaway, but still were like, hey, I like your videos. Can you just say Blaine's giveaway in your comment? Is it that hard? Like, you're going to leave a comment anyway, just throw it in there. I'm going to throw everyone's name in there. You're not going to do it. Fuck it. Let's be completely honest here. Okay, so it ends Friday night at 5 p.m. Eastern. Get Just, your name in there, Chingon. Yep, uh, two ounce sample, each four whiskeys shipped to your door. Uh, we're I trying got, to get to a thousand subs. That's what we're working on here. Yeah, so. four. We're pretty close. Four good clubs. Not far. Uh, you know, we'll make it. We'll drink that so one yeah, straight. Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern. That's uh, the cutoff for the comments. Any comment after that won't be entered into the giveaway. We appreciate the support. Hopefully, you like the samples. We just went. We just got the straight from the barrel and the gold. So we figured. I kept we're seeing comments of people Share like, wealth. "I wish I could try it. I wish I had it. I can't find the even normal blend." And it's like you know what? Somebody's getting samples. Smooth amber old scout rye. Didn't know that was a thing. No, uh, I thought it was it's, only a bourbon. It's so it's a purple. It has a purple outline. Oh, I have seen you've that seen actually. Yeah. I have seen yeah. that. I'm sure you've seen it on secondary. We have never had it. I saved the I little push. book for the last of a bourbon tasting, had it, blacked out, vomited, then passed out. I bet you don't like it. I bet you're not a fan. Morgan, if you comment on the Blanton Straight From The Barrel video, you will be in the thing. Yeah. We recognize a lot of people's comments. Sean Opperman says, seeing the Yippie Kaye got me thinking vanilla oak notes and I'm having some of the Crown Blenders 13. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. It is what it is. Agreed. For sure. I actually had this on our last live stream right at the end and this didn't change. What? We both had this at the last, uh, the end of our last live stream. Okay. Because I was like, I'm going to grab something different and I grabbed this. And you were like, Sean's on his 14th barrel proof of the night. Did I have some? Uh, you I don't might think have. I did. Because uh, uh, we both agreed it's still like that lemon pledge. Oh, okay. I feel like we had 37 whiskeys that night. We've had like 47 tonight. It's All I have. You tip. No, no, no. Sips. Jeffrey Wang, listen to me right now. You'll be invited back here because I'm pretty sure I was the one that kicked you out earlier. Jokingly, obviously. But you'll be welcome back into the club. You'll lemon be pledge. a junkie again. If you open the Midwinter Night's Dram, you just told me you were thinking about trading and not opening because you've never oh. had it before. Oh, open. Open, open. it. Stop Dan it. Dan loves it infinitely Stop more it. than I do, but that, that is still probably um, one of the best values. It, around $100 in rye that you can get. It is amazing. I've never had a bad one. Um, no. Okay. There, there are, it, I don't even care what, it's yeah, I don't care what act it is. Act one through six. There's six of them. Six has their own whiskey in it. Six has High West whiskey in it. Uh, acts one through five don't. They're all blended source whiskeys. Uh, all of I've had four, five, and six. All of them are great. Um, I've finished a bottle of five and six now. One of my favorite whiskeys ever to be put into a glass bottle for me to drink. So, let's see. Mike M says Ben did that stuff. I win. Listen. I like it when the people, so the, some people came from Instagram, several people came from Instagram today and subscribed and stuff. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers. Part of the, give, the reason for the giveaway was actually because I kept, I literally just kept seeing comments over and over about how people wanted to try Blanton's Gold, Blanton's Straight from the Barrel, couldn't get it. Can't find even normal Blanton's. Um, and it's just like, that's such a bummer. So we might as well share some of it. Um, that's how it started. But the other part is trying to hit a thousand subs. All right, because somehow four digits is better than three, and it matters for some reason. It's cool. When we set, I told Ricky the other day when we started this channel, my goal was when we actually started to get subs, because I was like, oh shit, people are subbing. But I got surprised. I was like, oh, it'd be really cool to hit a thousand within the year of our channel. We're, we'll be close. No, we'll be ahead. At this point, we'll be ahead. When but we, when we start actually doing videos, I don't, I don't remember. July. It was hot out. Hot. Hot. It was last time I checked it was like eight months. So we still have a few months. So but somebody said uh Chris said great giveaway you guys. Listen man, it's just because everybody watches the channel, we wouldn't give anything away if nobody did. Yeah. Morgan's uh nope. Expel said, what do I have to do in order to guarantee the samples? 
I don't know. Um, if you hack random.org or whatever yeah. it is, if you hack that with your name and then all the draws, I think that's what I used last time, and then all the draws go to your name, then you'll yeah. get them. You have about four, three days to figure that out. All right, I'm just going to start with the Angel's Envy because I don't think this is in the running. Jeff, no, I don't think so either. Jeffrey said, just went back to the straight from the Braille video. How did I wow. miss that terrifying opening puppet? Listen. So Sean, so you Sean. should have lived it. If you watched the, okay, so there's probably almost a minute cut out that is straight behind the scenes. Yeah, those are good um, behind the scenes. That's the the Patreon content, and like it's hilarious to watch because Dan just keeps holding it by the the topper and just I'm I'm freaking out the whole time. We've not even had this yet, and he's just. Oh, it hurt my brain. Here's the thing. So Sean edits the Monday videos. If you don't know, Sean edits Monday <laughs> videos now, all of them. And I edit the Thursday videos. And um, so I don't watch the Thursday videos because I see them so many times editing. I'm sure you don't watch all the Monday videos at this point. Um, so I'm parts like, of my still watch. I used yeah. to when I was like, especially when I wasn't sure. Like if I because every now and then I'll, I'll, I'll notice something. I'm like, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so Sean's like, have you watched? I watched it behind the scenes because we, him and I were talking. We probably had six minutes before we started drinking whiskey in that straight from the barrel video because we just kept fucking around. That, that was a rough one. So we were sitting there talking and he's like, I, have you, the behind the scenes were really funny. Um, but then he was like, have you watched the video? You just got to watch like the first 30 seconds. I'm like, no, I haven't yet. I was at work. Then I watched it later and I was in the office by myself and it stops and it cuts to Muppet. <laughs> and when it cut to Muppet, I was like, this could not, there could not be a better scene in any show of somebody saying that <laughs> sentence. It was hard to find. Oh, Let so me tell good. you what. It's so good. Wow. Gosh, that was so funny. This is, that's so interesting. I was she one says, bedtime, good night. Good night. See you next Tuesday. Sam or Bobby or Sam and Bobby or whoever. We will get samples right to you. It's right And I uh, poured them. all The samples these. should, the, we're waiting because we need something to send you a sample. We need to do something to send you a sample, and Sean didn't show up early enough tonight to do it, so we have to do it tomorrow. So, we will send you samples after we do that thing tomorrow. You could have so. done your part before I got we here. we got to film it. Yeah, you, you could have done I that before I got by here. By myself? Yes, I can't see your part, a-hole. Not wrong. <laughs> All right, but your still wouldn't have been done, so we couldn't have shipped out anyways. Doesn't matter, I could have done it And whenever. we still couldn't have shipped out anyways until you were done. Could have done it whenever. Didn't matter. Okay. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out. Check out iWhiskey Shoe Lines if you haven't. Um, they'll be on this channel next Tuesday at 9 p.m. This is like... Oh. Like spicy syrup. Sean Opperman said, I'll revisit in a minute, but something about something. Little Book Chapter 2 was a little tight and uninviting on the palate. It didn't open up and cover my palate very well. Maybe it opened up. It's Lemon Pledge. I think, yeah, it's, um, I don't think it's bad. It's, uh, it's just interesting. There's like a lot of lemon, like, uh, that zesty citrus and a shit ton of pepper. I don't, uh, reach for it a lot. No. Neither of us do. We forget about it because, like I said, it literally looks exactly like a Booker's bottle and sits next to all the Bookers. <laughs> Sipsy Russell said, okay, I tried the Belconis Rye for the first time. That was an astringent pickle that turns into chocolate coffee. Wow, that's really bad. Yeah. Yep. Oh, not good. All right. Expel said I somehow wasn't subbed already. Off the fucking team, though, huh? I mean, come on. If I see your name in here all the time, I consider you a supporter. I consider you family. Hacking initiated. <laughs> um, then probably... If you did sub, thank you, for real. Dan will disagree, but I, I, I think it all be between, be between these two for me. Yeah, it definitely won't. Oh, uh, let's see. Man, like, they're not even close to the same. Uh, Richie says, how come sometimes I sub to a channel and I go on and I'm unsub? That's weird. I don't know. Uh, because YouTube sucks. Is um, that why? Yeah, because, like, you got to do the whole, like, hit the subscribe button and then you got to hit the bell. Are you talking about notifications? They're talking about, uh, yeah, Richie's yeah, no, talking about it, being it, unsub. It went through that for a while. Like, um, So if you want to see, like, when our videos are coming out and you get notified, you got to click the bell next to subscribe yeah. under the videos. But I think it was. Um, I don't know like why you the, would be unsubscribed. I don't know if it was.
Bradley Martin or Dom. Dom. It was Dom. They were talking yeah. about it was happening that people were watching the videos and they were like, I know I've been subbed for a long time. Yeah, and then I true. click your video and it says unsubbed. That it comes so down to YouTube being shitty. That was so long ago, though. Yeah. It's still a thing, though. It is? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. It's still a thing. I I don't know why. Honestly, I don't know the don't last know time why. a channel that I've been subbed to, I've seen that. I've on. never had it happen to me. Um, but I like will like watch my subscriptions. Like I just click subscriptions to watch videos, and I watch no. videos out of there. So I usually know this. Let's Man, see. there's just so much dark fruit in this uh, midwinter. Maybe too much rye. Patreon tonight. Oh. Listen. I'll tell you something real quick so everybody doesn't leave so we don't pick up <laughs> for an hour. Ari said uh, maybe too much ride Patreon tonight. So here's the thing. We're at 70-something on Patreon right now in, in donations. When we hit $100 in donations per month, uh, we're going to put on an extra video every week. Based also, on what you guys pick. Yeah. Um, yeah. More or less. Something like that. We're going to figure something we're gonna out. We're going to try and, like, I think put out a poll-ish maybe yeah. on what we're going to do. I really and like let polls. Patreon decide. Yeah. On what we're gonna do next, and it'll be a, a dedicated Patreon video. But here's the thing: this is what I want to say. So, there, um, I went about making some challenge coins and ordered them, and they haven't shipped yet. But when they do ship, uh, we're gonna have an offer that has to do with joining and getting a challenge coin. But that being said, everybody that has already joined will get a challenge coin. Mm -hmm. So if you're part of our Patreon, you're going to get a challenge coin uh, from us. So I don't know if that's helpful or not, but that's the truth. So. To be here soonish. They're supposed to be here, I think, next week. I was going to say, I haven't so. seen them yet. It'll be a surprise for me, too. Little off topic. I heard the four rows of small batch select. Tastes rye heavy. Anyone try any thoughts? I know Mash and Drum did a video on it yep. that I watched. Uh, he enjoyed it. He said it was... I think I think his words were pretty close to the Four Roses um, 130th from this year. I, I'm looking forward to that, for sure. Trying to get one up here. We're not getting it in Michigan this year, by the way. Mm -mm. Do you know that? This mm -hmm. year. It's only like five states. Not this year, though. They, initially, they yeah. said six months. Now it's this year. Yeah, rude. Little Book Chapter 2 tastes like mustard. That's what Sean just said. Mustard? Mustard. Mustard? I just had Kentucky Owl. I refuse to taste that right now. Mike M, the challenge coins are metal. They're gold metal. Mm. I'm, I'm like super looking forward to them. Not a doubt. Mustard. Without a doubt, that wins. Way more ketchup than mustard. <laughs> <laughs> I go full. Okay. Rinse out any whiskey flavor. I have you have you had these now? Mm -hmm. My gosh, bro! I haven't had a second one yet. I I tried all three. I've been already. trying to catch up on the old chat ski. I know you've been yakking. So I've been I trying to catch up, man. I did a quick. Richie said supposedly book one's way better than two. I heard the opposite. I feel, these must be so controversial. Um, All these I, I feel it comes down to shit like where people were like one versus two on Kentucky Owl. It's like, oh, this one's way better. It's like, I think they're talking about uh, Little Book. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm going to guess that they're probably both pretty similar. I, oh, they're wildly... I've heard they were extremely different. Oh. Like, they're not the same blends or anything like that. I've heard one... Is, this smells so much worse. I've heard one so astringent. Coins made of unobtainium. Yep. So me and uh, the Black Panther guy got together. It's vibranium. That's what you think. No, that's no, no. They found more shit. Mustard. They found more shit. It is greaser. Uh, yeah, that's vibranium. A little book always reminded me of pencil shavings, but in a good way. <laughs> in a good way. What is that nostalgia? I need, uh, <laughs> I need an elaboration on that. It's a right good there. way. Mike Gum said made it in verbanium, which is a really good. That's actually good. I'm gonna steal that. <laughs> he will. I'll send you a coin. I'm gonna use Burbank. <laughs> they're way different. All right. So it's not like these two, where it's personal preference. I feel. Yeah, I've heard that. Bought a couple mini fighting cocks. This might be the best. Waiting for the bling. Not too bad. Fighting cock. Don't let it sit open for too long. Corn nuts. 
But I, that's what I remember out of that. It's it not bad. Turned into corn nuts. It's not bad sheep whiskey. This is so good. What is that? The angels. Yeah. Angels is so good if you just want dessert. Mm -hmm. If you if you're trying not to eat candy but you want candy, that's the best way to drink it. Yeah. Yep. Because it's really sweet and it's gonna satisfy that sweet tooth. My God, it smells like rum. It's so coming off of these, it literally smells like a really really rich rum. Dude, it's so rum cola y. It's yeah. crazy. Wow. So much less rye and bourbony. That that smells like a a really like if you took Coke and cooked it down into a syrup. <laughs> Which ones which? Are these are these They're in right row? In front of each other. I don't know what any of these batches are for the Kentucky Owls. So these are Kentucky Owls. Don't tell me what batch, because now this is blind. It's midwinter. Thanks. Appreciate that third one. Well, if you knew what the label Man, this smells so rich. So if you knew the difference between the toppers oh or the uh, the labels, you just know. I don't remember. Because one goes up over, yeah. and then one they goes have around. Corks on them. They do. I don't remember which ones which. I got this lovely. Infinity Glenn. That's not going to be good. That will not be good. That will not. There's no way in hell that that's good. That is a complex nose. <laughs> Let me tell you what. It smells okay. really rich. Kentucky All Batch 1 versus Batch 2. Don't mix them up. Uh, right hand is Batch, second one. Right hand is the right one. Left hand is left one. On the nose? It's not even that bad. On the nose. Rye and bourbony, those are both valid yeah. names. Yeah, no, 100%. I think we say it a lot. Words. <laughs> okay. Like on shit. the nose, I think batch one wins. Which one's batch one? I just keep calling this one one because it's the first one in my hand. Uh -huh. One and two. One and two, left and right. Batch left wins. Batch left? On the. Oh, I don't know. They're both really good. Here's the weird thing. Whoever says. One of these is drastically better than the other is wrong. Because they're both really good. And they're both very similar to the other. They are. Um, I mean, it, it's done with the same person. I mean, and it's, it's literally like a, uh, a Valentine thing. Like, you've got the same distiller trying mm -hmm. to do a good thing. They're, they're mixed together. They are. But here's the thing. Man, it's so good. Uh, he went on a podcast. Kentucky Owl 1.5. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, he went on a podcast. Okay. And he was talking about how they're actually very different from one another because he he didn't even have the same distillery as barrels to blend for each batch. So they're from different distilleries even. Because all of it's sourced, right? They yeah. don't have any in-house. So basically what he said was like batch one, he's like, he's asking for barrels, right? Yep. And then batch two, people are sending in barrels because of batch one success. So this one and this one are from different places, which drives, it's crazy that they're even that close. Guys, good. <laughs> owl on owl time. <laughs> I will say this one is better. You think so? Yeah, this one is better. Hold on. You Wait, let me taste it one more time. This one is so much better. It's not even funny. It's just the same way that we tasted them it last is. time. That's is batch, batch one, and I said batch two was better. Batch one is so much better. It's so much richer, and so much more dark fruit. Dude, listen. Please just fucking stop, dude. Just relax for a second. Just, no, 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 look, just relax. I had it. Okay. Listen. Try this. Will you catch it when it falls inevitably? No. Okay. Well, that's terrifying. There you go. Top to top. Somebody said tip to tip. Look at how crooked that is. Yeah, it's sitting. not straight. Uh uh. There you go. Listen, um, I don't think Booker's Rye, Booker's Bry, Booker's Bry on Instagram, I don't think he watches YouTube. Oh, you already poured it. But yeah. if I he did, this balancing shit's not that hard. Can we go back like 10 minutes where I said, yes, I've already poured all four? You said it three And they're times sitting in least. front of each other? Yeah, at least three. I asked you before you answered me. Yeah. Oh. We switched. It's oh. not that good. Oh. Lord save me. That's the most beautiful 
delicate, gorgeous. It pales. It pales in comparison to good Oh my gosh, it pales. You know what it pales in? Your mother. It's ability to just shit on everything else on the table. Must be late, because I'm going to guess that's Gabby saying she's going to bed. I... Oh, new subscriber. What is it, Expel? Yep. <laughs> Expel 23, new subscriber. Welcome to the junkies, baby. Finally got that, uh, there that you notification. Go. All right. Man. Um, Mike said that's a bad <clears throat> motherfucker blender at Kentucky Owl. So he is. Um, it's just so sad. The price part with the, st it's not his fault. It's the Stoli thing. Yeah. That part makes me really sad. They said, you'll pay, whatever. you really paid that much for that? But all right, cool. What do you pay for the next one? All right. Too much? We should probably dial it back. Um, they, they just kept increasing, increasing, increasing prices. And people were like, we'll keep paying it. They figured out where the market will stop paying for it, and they're just gonna hold them there. I bet. Think so? Yeah. Uh, Skidman Park's two part comment. Dan, if you say one is drastically better, referring to, you're wrong. Five minutes later, this one is so much better. <laughs> so here's the thing one is better than two. No. It is. Undeniably, um, undebatably, one is better than two. These two right here are 100% personal preference. They're, they're both, both amazing they're both whiskey. Really um, it just boils down to 100% what you like more. Complexity is you, batch one. <laughs> um, a shitty palette full of nonsense, batch two. Yeah. You know, something in there, yeah. give or take. Okay, now here's the thing. Dude, Ryan Opperman's in here. What's going hey. on, man? Drinking some 2018 Knob Creek Cast Strength Ryan. Good shit, dude. Good choice. Dan drank all of ours. If Sean wouldn't have drank all ours. I'm Dan, just going to turn it around now. You want to tell them why we don't have any? So basically. Aha! Oh no! I'm the one that spilled something now. Alright. Uh, yeah, I took it to a party and we drank it at a party. Um, oh. Technically, two is greater than one, Jack of all plates. And by definition, you're not incorrect. The price. No, no, just two, the number, is greater than one. Oh. Hey, math. What's that one? Did you match them together? I don't know. I don't know. You kept picking things I mean, up, you setting don't them know. down. So I drank all the midwinters. It's gone. Then this is two. Wait a little poured out. Because it's right there right now. There's just enough to leave the glen. We almost lost another Glen tonight, bud. Almost you didn't have a Glen night. over there. Okay. Uh, I didn't see it either. <laughs> That's why it was so scary. So which one wins? We, we felt way off. It's been 70 minutes. You go Kentucky Owl Bash 2 out of all of these. Yeah. Wow, you're bad at this. Okay. Kentucky Owl 1 and Midwinter Night's Dram are very close for me. We... I may or may nope. not have... One. No. Nope. Two. No. Nope. Kentucky Owl confiscated in an auction. And they may be here tomorrow or Thursday. It means he paid the most money. Like a chump. I got them almost for retail. Yeah. Plus was, shipping. That one, um, I don't some know people were sleeping on that auction. Dan was like, oh, I got these for that much. I was like, huh? They're going for like way more than that. I know. I got them for $10 over Michigan State minimum. Plus, no. Way shipping. shipped. Holy yeah. shit. I got them for $10 more 15. than I could. 15 Yeah. So I literally got them for minimum plus shipping. Mm -hmm. That's what I got them for. I don't hate that. We, you want me to pull up where we talked about that in chat? I, I, I thought, day? for some reason, I thought it was 10 over minimum, then shipping. No. But you're right, yeah. Yep, you're right. Um. So, Brett says, were the earlier acts better? I think... That's more for you, man. I think... That's a five. Aren't they on six right now? Yeah. I finished the six. A while back. I do not disturb. I don't think you would be upset with any of them. Let's put it that way. So, that's great. Do not disturb. My phone just went off. I don't have one... Instagram. No. That's the do not disturb. So, my phone just went off to tell me I have no messages. All right. Thank you, Android. I think realistically, any of the Midwinter Night Stream would get hands on your good. I'm going to say... 
he likes it a lot more than I do, and I haven't been upset by any of them I've had. Um, he puts them in this realm. I do not. These are far superior in my mind. Um, but they're amazing. They're very good. Midwinter Nights Dream wins, period, hands down, bar not. Yep. You put in well, both Kentucky Owls. Yep. Um, <laughs> I just did them back to back without a doubt. Wrong. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you picked Batch 2, I picked Midwinter Nights Dream. We both picked Peerless for the worst. I just want to, like, I wanted to take a drink and just. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now blend all the rise. Rhyming get in. Jack of all blades said. So here's the thing. Sean's got something like that. Going. Just do it. Let's do it. All these. No, no, not this one. Why? What's that one? Put it batch, in there. It's batch two. Put it in there. What's this one? Oh, that's Angel's Envy. Smell that. That smells like syrup. Wow. All right, man. There it is. No message is equal. Keep on drinking. There goes the batch two of drinking. Okay, so it smelled really good at first. I'm gonna let you smell it now. Yeah, I just, just wanted to enjoy one tonight. I'm gonna let you smell that. I've been sipping on everything all night, so eventually we get down to one, because that's what Dan said he was gonna do. Like, we just sip all night, and then eventually we'll pour something that we'll really enjoy and just do that. Instead, what I did was pour something I really enjoy, and then they got fucking poured into a mixture of bullshit. Yep, you did that. I'm gonna be honest, you did that. That was your mistake. Oh my gosh, I got so many messages and my phone just caught up. I hope he dies. I will answer. If you messaged us during this, I will answer you after this. Wow. So it's just amazing that you take so many good bottles of rye uh -huh. and they're just spoiled like some yep. fucking That's exactly what cheese it smells I got like. left in the fucking sun. It smells like Belconis. It really doesn't smell that bad like Balcones. It smells like, I might enjoy that. But the problem is, there's some real shitty whiskey in there that really, really ruins it. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Hate you. Oh. Oh, that's repulsive. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's one of my least favorite things I've you ever You took drank. everything I didn't drink tonight, and then took everything I wanted to drink tonight, and threw it in there. I'm gonna, that is, honestly, that is one of my least favorite things I've ever drank. Oh, wow. Why don't you have some? I poured you something. That was hard to swallow, for real. That's what she said. And it, and it got worse after I swallowed it. Um, what year, will you grab that peerless? Winos wants to know what year release on the Peerless. What's Does it matter? Up, Winos? Don't apologize for just getting here, man. Thanks for stopping by. I don't know where the year is at, so on uh, the front. It's ABB? at least it's at least Proof? a year old. I don't know how much older it is than that. How do we tell the year, Winos man? You don't see a year on it. So, Chester, I think I'm convinced we have a bad bottle of Peerless. We'll see. We'll see next tu next Tuesday. Tune in because you'll know whether we no. got a bad bottle or we whether we get like it. I feel like everyone says, I mean, that's got to be something. That's ABV. Well, it's not. Oh, that's ABV. Yeah. What the fuck is Proof this? Proof ABV 15? It's 15, 11, 24, 106. I would say 2015 maybe. Uh, I don't know how yet. I mean, Spell said prob that probably tastes better than Sean's Infinity Bottle. Wrong. <laughs> My Infinity Bottle is actually very good. It, that might be on par with Dan's Infinity Bottle. Unfortunately, Sean's has turned out in a weird way. It took months, but it got there. I don't know what fucking happened. I don't know what I added to it, but it just Magic. tipped it. Magic. <laughs> I, the, that would be the only thing that fixed it. I have no idea how to tell the age on this, though. So Let me see, dude. I got her under you almost got me with that fucking bottle. Do you see a code on it? I know you're seeing a lot of things, and straight isn't one of them, so. Try not to. I, I would assume you're, I would assume it's right. I would assume it's somewhere in that. 15. Be, that'd be my guess. 2015. Is that a thing? Is that possible? I can't imagine. It's the number of the glass. Yeah. No, 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 that's not right. Tell them, uh. Type our number in. Type it in? Yeah. One five one one two four one zero six. 
One, one. Nope. Two, four, one, zero, Wow, six. you suck. Done. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's our number right there. So, do some deciphering on that. Okay, Jack of All Blades said, gave you a new low in whiskey to compare to. Now, time to try the Black Box Whiskey. Listen, I, I, we will make a full video on Black Box Whiskey if somebody sends it to us. That's the only way we're doing it. What the fuck is Black Box? It's box whiskey, like Franza. Oh, God. But it's whiskey. I'll make, we'll do a show, we'll do a full breaking the seal. You know what? This is some lost shit. <laughs> yeah. We'll do, we'll do a video and put it out in the middle on a Wednesday. It'll be an extra video. Somebody's got to send it to us, so we're not buying it. We're not buying Black Box Whiskey. I can't even, I've never seen it before, but I know about it. Uh, okay, made it. Oh, so me. ours is, ours does say 24 months on it. Yep. It just says DSP KY50, aged 24 months in wood, registered. Wood. In wood. Okay. <laughs> in wood, not oak. 24 months in wood. <laughs> not even oak, dude. You pouring this in there? No, I will fucking. I'll pour this in yours. It can't get worse. Oh my okay, goodness. wait. Real quick. <laughs> Okay, my phone is literally on do not disturb. Hey, I need you to stop the amateur hour over here, John. So that's gotta be something. So let's throw this out there. Dan's infinity bottle, which he refuses to drink. Oh my god, yeah. look how yeah, yeah, drink her up, bud. My infinity bottle that we keep drinking because it's good. Yeah, you're just gonna throw that all away. That's probably a good idea. Put some space. You might as well fill up another one. Make some space. I throw me a little bit of water. Just a smidge. Give it out, brother out. I'm out of water. You drinking all yours? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody could even see that. I really hope that is in frame. Oh, uh, let me get this. Oh, bro, off. relax. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. That's aggressive. This is how you do it. This is how Sean and I do infinity bottles. That's how Dan does infinity bottles. You just pour it up four ounces and then put four of them back in. Dude, what the actual left? This is how you fix infinity bottles. That's not fixing shit. You just put a rye in there. Look, I Old mean. Old Forrester rye, though. Yeah. Nice and sweet. So your idea to burn out your shitty whiskey was putting in low proof whiskey? Solid idea, bro. Solid idea. There's not shitty whiskey in there. It's just the power, the flavor is overpowering. Fuck, that's good. Oh. <laughs> there we go, dude. Now, you know what you do with an infinity bottle? You let it mellow. Yeah, drink her up, now, bud. <laughs> you let it mellow. You want to get this fucking whiskey off the table? <laughs> there we go. Dude, the cork. I up. see it. It is a millimeter the off. The cork is oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it won't stay in. That's, why is that? I mean, why is there well, so much pressure take, in there? The vapor pressure of it is so fucking high. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh my God, Dan, look at this. Try to push it down. If you guys want to see this, ready? All right, we're gonna let her air out for a yeah. minute. Yeah. All right. Something had some vapor pressure. Uh, thankfully, this is a synthetic cork, so it should be okay. It's you gonna, really good. Somebody said it's gonna eat that cork. My my <laughs> infinity bottle. Oh. So we just watched uh, the difference of Dan's palate versus mine. No, we watched the difference of how much I give a shit to how much Sean gives a shit about his infinity bottle. I mix mine and then I wait for like seven weeks and I try it. Sean mixes it, taste it, mix it, taste it. Oh my god, that's good. Gosh, dude, that's so funny. Just give that a little try. Just give that a little nip nip. It's like raspberries and chocolate. Uh, <sighs> that's the least gay thing to happen on this channel. <laughs> Oh, I hope Gabby is just sleeping right now. That's for sure the gayest thing that's ever <laughs> happened on this channel. Nah, one of us got under the table once. Pretty sure it was me. I, I don't know what to do with this. 
do that. Plunger, not a cork. It is a plunger at this point because it pops itself back out. You think if I, you know what? Where's it? Let's get a or clean glass and just try it a little. No, I want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? No, no, that, you not can't that do one. That. You can't do that. What? So, okay, it's not mixed at all. It is mixed. It's, it's chemistry. Oh my gosh, these all smell rough, dude. That's as good as you're getting it. <laughs> no, that's not good. Will you, I need that cloth, because otherwise it's going to smell still. You got to hold it tight. Okay, that's not how you mix it. You just got to... I'm a bartender. No, that... Shake weight. There's... Okay. <laughs> They, they teach you that, there you go. Now back, you gotta invert it. That's how you mix in chemistry. You go all the way around the world. Yeah, that's fine. Nope, that's how you do it. Okay. Oh, There's a fire right that's there. That's in the fire. So, that's in the fire. No, it is on top. You I, are I'm so still not lucky. touching I'm not. I'm not touching it. Oh my god, you do. fucking pussy. <laughs> all right, well. Disaster semi avoided. You are such a vagina. Thanks, Appreciate that. <laughs> I'm not trying that. I'm trying it. In a, so you poured yourself a clean glass and then me into a dirty one. There's dollar cork standing. No shit. Ooh. Well, you don't is, hate it, do you? That's definitely a dirty glass. You don't hate it. Well, oh, it smells okay. like a rye, so. <laughs> That's so bad. Skinner and Mark said you should pour some of your infinity bottle into Sean. <laughs> Dude. What? That is that is the worst sportsmanship I've ever fucking even heard of. <laughs> that makes me so incredibly Dude, happy. Dude, your, your bottle's gotten in, infinitely amounts better. Oh, I would imagine. Like, it, it couldn't get worse. I just poured in three solid bottles of whiskey. Oh, what's that? Is this? That's yours. It tastes what's way better. What's that smell? Shit. It's still that your poop whiskey that was 80% of it. <coughs> well, Dan forgot you're not supposed to breathe whiskey. It's good stuff, isn't it? That was one of the most painful things I've ever experienced. Oh my god! I'm so happy with what just happened. Oh. He drank his own bottle and almost fucking died. Oh my gosh, that was so painful in the back of my throat. <laughs> hey, is there any fucking paper towel out here? Because or what you've done <laughs> to this table. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, it's a good bottle. Good mixture. Je Jeffrey Wagg said off camera, Sean secretly pours Peerless into Dan's bottle to sabotage it. That's the only possible scenario. That's the only way mine got the way I don't it got. need to. <clears throat> oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. He was willy nilly in, in bullshit. Dude, that hurts so bad. After I did man. Young Whiskey and realized you can't out blend Young Whiskey, he's thrown in like cherry wood smoke, barley, fucking Woodford. Thanks, dude. Oh, I <clears throat> That, that was it was painful to watch. Gosh, dude, that hurt a lot for real. That was Ooh. miserable. How do I get to? Here we go. Right, no. There we go. Okay, well, there's not a trash bag in that. Oh. You have to go pick that up now. I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, you are. All right. I'll take uh, things I'm not gonna do for a thousand, Alex. I honestly feel like I'm gonna throw up now. Yeah, that wasn't good for me. My body's rejecting everything. Your infinity bottle <clears throat> really tried to kill you. That hurt really bad. Finally, it's come. Jack of all blades said snort with a nose next time. <laughs> Lines of infinity. My God, I've been putting cyanide in that bottle for months now. That I've, hurt. I've like been... My stomach's upset now. Yeah, yeah. it should. <sighs> so where are we at with uh, rye? I'm we're just waiting. This. We're waiting for Cornerstone. That'll be the, the first one. one. Let's bring her back. Before yeah, I throw I, I, we should before oh. you have a fucking. I don't meltdown. feel well. I don't. I'm sweating a little for real. He's pretty warm. Yeah, I'm getting like um, scaly. What's it called when you get a little damp, <laughs> moist? What's it called? 
Like my arms are starting to sweat. Jeez, oh Pete. I'm getting scaly. Sips, what do you call it? Moist. Sipsy, <laughs> Sipsy said, "Stop making wiggle legs walk." <laughs> it's not good. Um. Yeah. So here's the thing. This year, so <laughs> far, what we know of <laughs> Masters Collection. That's a good color. Masters Collection, chocolate rye. Masters Keep Cornerstone Rye, piggyback rye, which is a whistle pig entry rye. You want you want to throw no, up? No, bro, I can't. I feel sick right now. I honestly feel this sick. This will do it. I don't feel well. Um. <clears throat> what else? Oh. That might be the most offensive whiskey I've had tonight. I, I told you that's the worst thing I've ever I'm tasted. Drinking Belconas. That's the worst thing I've ever had. Is the because the problem is we mix Peerless and Belconas together. Boom. Clammy. That's the word. Yep, they were both right. I I was clammy for a minute. AKA damp. <laughs> a little moist. So I'm that's the to, C word that's like moist. I'm trying to think what else. It broke my brain. Clammy would work, yeah. Um, what other rides this year? Uh, Kentucky Owl will, pro will have a bass rate that's been announced. Yeah, and it won't be more than 200. Because they, they, really, they realized right there that that's, that's the point that people were like, yeah, no, what? Did they realize that? Yeah. You they, sure? Yeah. I hope they, I, I hope, you're right. I hope they did. Because they're, it. Dan, you need an energy drink. Batch 2 is selling on secondary for 150. Yeah. And it's retail is 200. So. So. A little side note, that one blows my mind that that goes for secondary because no one wants to pay more than 200 for it. Mm -hmm. And then there are things like Angel's Envy Cask yeah. that sell for secondary that I'm like, damn, that's yeah. so much better than, than like, Mid what people are marketing. I about. would consider Midwinter Night Dram one of those types of bottles mm -hmm. because so retail's around 90, I think retail's around 90, 90 ish. Yeah. Um, and the most I've ever seen go for is like 120, 130 shipped. Hmm. So you're talking at 130 yeah. shipped, it's 115 bucks. Yeah, it's 20 dollars over, 25 over. Um, I'd pay that. What rye is there that is really other than Willet? Then what? What you talking? Um, like a secondary bottle that goes for a decent lot 40 amount. cask. Hmm. Like, that goes nuts. Okay, Handy. I was gonna say there, there's not a lot of rye that Handy. really go Sazerac, secondary. 18. Like not baby sa like big yeah. boy sass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so there are no like middle of the road rides that go for like way over. Oh, because like an Elmer goes for yeah. 130. That's a forty dollar okay. bottle sure. that's selling right now for 130. But that's there are no point. middle of the road rides that go for way over. That's a good point. Hmm, that's interesting to me. Somebody said alcohol poisoning. Maybe no, it was the fact that I inhaled the whiskey. He tried to breathe. In my liquid. body, just started rejecting the idea of oh, breathing I, liquid. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And so now my body's trying to rec recover from the situation it was in. Um, he does this usually like once a night, so. <laughs> DJ Vegan says, Sean makes Dan moist constantly. Booker's right. Yep, you're right. That is one uh, that goes way over. That is one of the higher secondary ones, but it was like $100, $130 bottle. And it, it, was, like, it was a kind of expensive bottle. Like set. Or it was a $200 though. bottle, I think. Yeah, so it's $200 going for like $800. Victor's um, 10, right. That's, yep. that's okay. probably yeah. the best one. Yep. What, that's still like a hundred? I think it retailed to 150 ish, okay. 130, 150, and it goes for 250. Okay, 220. I thought it was like 115, 125. I thought it was cheaper than that. All right. So, okay. There are no. Oh, okay. Taylor Straight Ride, we, um, it seems like you can get for around 190 on secondary. Which straight. I like a lot. Um, Okay, so I'm looking for sub hundred dollar. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I think that's hard to find. Sub hundred dollar rides that are going for a lot. Just Willets. Yeah. Well, they're not going for that much. Eighty five ship. Yeah. Ninety shipped. Hundred shipped somewhere in that range for the four years. Yeah, man, that's a good point. Rides usually trade way closer to shelf. That's a really good point. Hmm. Um. I've seen some, so I guess the most, the most budget I've seen go for the most. Yeah, was really handy, handy will always go for a lot, was, DJ. Well, it was the most specific, it was a really specific um, double, High West Double Rise store picks, and they went for like 150 each, <clears throat> and they would have been 45 okay. each. 
So that's um, that. But it was a really specific one. But okay, so Handy like is the lowest secondary price B tech. That is a yeah. hundred dollar bottle that usually goes from three fifty yeah. to four hundred, depending yeah. on how good it is. Yeah. Where all the other B tacks usually, I mean, what Stag's the next lowest one at four fifty ish, four hundred to four fifty. Um, like the Eagle Rare was through the roof this year. That's like grand. Saz 18. I didn't even see that move a lot. That that's there's expensive. There's so few. Yeah, because there was like a thousand bottles this year. It just that's asinine expensive. Um, yeah, Handy is. I don't know that. Mm, that seems hit or Somebody miss. Somebody said too. Michter's Barrel Toasted. That one goes for double. Okay, that's fair. What does it start at though? Sixty. Oh 70, really? Seventy. Seventy eighty probably. The internet just took a giant fucking shit, so hopefully that's not destroying everything. It was down in the fucking 600s for a long while now, at 11.30 at night, so. <laughs> All right. Your um, one neighbor was downloading a yeah. shit ton of porn. Handy, I can't handle Handy. Made me slobber an entire conversation that Ryan did. <laughs> We've had, have we had three? Two or three now? No. I feel like we've had three. I feel like we had three. And we didn't love any of them. We and I was so excited for one. Really liked, or semi liked one of them. Pretty sure it was like the sixteen. Two thousand. No, the one we liked the 15? most was like the 05. Was that what it was? Yeah. Was that old? Fuck! I thought it was like a fifteen. All right. We only like one handy, and Dan was ready to pay secondary for one. Before we had it ever. Yeah. Because I wanted a rye from BTAC. Yeah. Usually George C. Stegg and Weller were so damn good. Um, oh, what was his name? Who the internet it? should be back up. Who I'm sent sure us it that, that shit, entire so. row? I'd have to look back at the video. I'd have to Eric? look at who sent it to us. I think Eric. I don't want to fuck it up. I'll, I'll probably fuck it up. I thought it was Eric. Uh, I can almost see the email. Okay. It's right there. You didn't even have the email on your phone when it happened. I can look through all of them now. It was Eric Waite. Maybe. It doesn't matter. Continue with your story. Anyways, we were very we did, appreciative of pretty that. Pretty much, yeah. We did an entire BTAC line because of him. We sent him a shirt because of that. <laughs> yeah, we sent him <laughs> samples and shirts because of that. And, like, Handy came in last for us. Mm -hmm. And Well, came, we compared it to George C. Stag, WL Dweller. I mean, it wasn't like... It was, it was a BTAC line. It wasn't against other rides, even. It was not. The thing is, I... But even still, we kept some of that. I had and traded... And came back to it, and we're still like... I don't know. I traded off my 1792 collection for a handy at secondary. That was the plan. Yep. I collected most of the 1792 stuff. And after we had he the handy, I'm like, I'm really, raffles. I'm really glad that I didn't do it. Because as cool as the bottle would be to sit up there, I just, we didn't like it that much. So. No. And it's not like the stag where that one's like, dang, that's a treat to have every now and then. Pull that down, you grab something, you're like, that's good. Wynos just said, had Sazerac 18 the other day, whoa, baby. All right, that's rude. Never even seen a bottle. Of that. You know what's interesting? No. We went to that uh, giveaway, mm -hmm. and there wasn't even a bottle of it there. Four bottles of stag, though. No, no, twelve bottles. Oh, of that's stag. what it was. Yeah. There was one Weller and yep. one e no, two or three Wellers, one Eagle Rare. Yep. Oh, twelve stags or two something. Weller. Like that. Not one Sazerac. There were some handies too. Not yeah. one Sazerac. No. It's crazy. Um. I think Saz 18 was the lowest, uh, um, like, bottle count this year. Okay. With that eagle. Eagle's yeah, low. they were both Eagle's super really low. low. They were, like, in the thousands. Listen, man, BJ's are always looking for handies, all right? Don't get it twisted. Yeah. It's usually my own, but... Listen, you are too, all right? Let's not pretend. Let's not pretend like you don't, you know, you're not looking. Um, we went to a local bourbon bar, not together, separately. And stopped in there. Yeah. First time I'd ever been there. I walk in, like, uh, they have, like, some of the crazy stuff on the list. They have, like, the pappies and stuff. It's, like, pappy, what was it, like, 20 or 23? Like, 100 and something per pour. It's yeah. an ounce pour. It's like, I'm not paying that, whatever. Nope. I this is when the, we still had a Bible at home. Too. I looked down the rye list, and on the rye list for a one and a half or two ounce pour. Uh, I think it's one and a half. Okay. For a one and a half ounce pour of Thomas Handy, it was 20 bucks. I'm like, I like look at him like, oh shit, we hadn't had handy yet at this point. I'm like, yep. hand it to the waitress. I'm like, I'll have that, please. 
And then Ooh, she, we're gonna have to check. She goes, all right, cool, sounds good. And then she leaves, and then she comes back and goes, oh, we just ran out of that. And I'm like, and you then, walked away like you had it. Yeah, I was there a month after that. Yeah. Handy was still on there. I was like, dude, maybe they got a bet. I'll have that. Walks back there, walks back, goes, ooh, we just poured it. Ah, it's gone. Which is a lie at that point. Because they had it on the menu since I had been there. Don't you lie to me, sir. Yeah, exactly. Um, that one, eh, it's a stinger. Yeah. Because I really thought, like, that was before we had any handy, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get it before Dan. I was so excited. And then they gave me the same, you know, carrot and stick. Ah, we just ran out. Best ride I've ever had is High West Rocky Mountain 21 year. Yeah, that's that was um, uh, that, that was something special. That shit's on that shit's on handy. I haven't had Saz 18, but that shit's on handy. I'd like to see sure. it next to something like this. I it mean, would absolutely curb stomp it. I'd still like to see it, man. Sure, curb stomp. You don't know that. If you want to see murder, yeah. you like to watch murder. Yeah. That's what it'd be. You should watch it'd our Patreon behind the scenes of what <laughs> the strip from Barrel. Hell yeah. <laughs> Me just. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That that was rough. Um, I don't know. It was very good though. Uh, that that was crazy. I, whoever has that, good on you. I had Pappy Rye 13. Mm. Two ounce pour for $40. Oh. Oh my gosh. What bottle service on that? You just buy the bottle. How much was that? Well, they just let you buy it at that price? Yeah. Gosh dang it, dude. Here's what you do. You have them bring it to you. They pour it in a glass, right? And then you bring something to pour that glass into and then at the end you just go ah, can I take the bottle home since it's empty <laughs> and you pour it all back in the bottle at your house yeah now you have family reserve rye at your house or whatever that one will probably be one we never have I, I want it but... um yeah that that one carries way too much of a price tag and as for availability goes I've never seen a bottle and I probably never will we saw one. They had some at that. Where? At that give uh, the, what's it called? The Smitty's thing. There was one there? Yeah, because I said, I want this. And you're like, meh. You said that to me. That never happened. You said that. Never happened. The Pabby 23s were gone. And I'm like, dude, the <coughs> family reserve the Winkle Rye. And you're like, meh. I want a Willer. That's what you said. Quote. And quote me on the quote unquote. Mm. I mean, W.O. Willer is it's amazing. Not, it's not going to be better than that Van Winkle Rye. Oh, 100%. Uh, winos. Peerless. Not listed as a whiskey ID yet. Now owned by a wine supplier since one and a half years ago. They use Kevin Cooperage for aging. Two years in the barrel and should still be on the first release. If I don't... There's something different about our release. There has to be. Because... Ours is shitty. We sent some to Bourbon Sane and he said it tasted awful too. So, we'll see if it continues when next Tuesday. we go to that? What? The, uh, the Smitty's? I don't know. Long time ago. I went to the house, then. This year, Peerless is supposed to be releasing a three-year, and we will be skipping it. Uh, I mean, what's the price tag on it? Is it free? Free 99? Will you try it? It's free. I'm skeptical. <laughs> will you pay me? <laughs> will you just give us a bottle of whiskey we want for free? No. Really? I thought I had a picture of the uh, the list. There we go. Now we can do this. It's working now. We just need a little out of there, dude. Yeah. That thing will settle, dude. Over three weeks, that thing will be great. All right, you ready to shut this down? Yeah, I'm just trying to find that damn thing. What are you trying to find? That list that we had. All right, I'm going to shut it down. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to end this for tonight. Next week, Tuesday, 9 p.m., will be hey. at Sean's place. Uh, I Whiskey She Wines will be on our channel. We'll be doing a collab with them. We won't have quality drops. Yeah, we will. Pro hopefully. Don't say that. Unless my internet just randomly goes out. Please don't say that. The last time, every time we're at work, somebody's like, come hell or high water, every time the opposite. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jack of All said, I'm sure you'll get a black box for free. Listen. If somebody, sends us, <laughs> if somebody sends us a black box of whiskey, we will review it. It's like 26 bucks. I, I would imagine it's cheaper. I would imagine um, it's significantly cheaper than that. But aren't the... It's uh, not here. I've never seen it here. If somebody sends it to us, we'll drink it. We'll do a review. Aren't you'll, the boxes, you'll get a shout out. Aren't the boxes like normally bigger though? Hell, we'll send you a two ounce sample if you want it. 
What'd you say? Aren't the boxes like normally like big volumes? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's still, it's supposed to be six years old too, I think, or something like that, which is crazy. Just Buffalo Trace. Fearless can put out two year. It's Buffalo Trace. (laughs) I'm in, man. We'll chug that. We're slapping a bag by the end of that video, dude. Yeah. All right. Uh, Let's see. Expel said, <laughs> Expel said, an early thank you for the sample. You're welcome, All man. Right. So, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. If you were here, we appreciate it. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. We're trying to hit that thousand subs. It's a Ooh, big milestone so for us close. on YouTube. Um, yeah, check out Patreon. There's going to be challenge coins over there pretty yeah. soon. And then, when we announce Ooh, the... Tomorrow, Thursday. Yeah. So I was going to say very soon we're going to be Patreon only. I don't know the rules. I, I kind of know the rules on that. Um, we'll we, see how we fight around them or not. Okay. We're going to be doing a giveaway that's for Patreon only supporters. Yeah. Uh, it's super cool. I got pictures of the thing. Finally, huh? Yeah. All right. I got pictures of the thing. It's super, super cool. But it will be for Patreon supporters only. Oh, I don't doubt only, it. So. I've been so excited for this. Yeah. Um, I didn't know you had pictures. Uh-huh. I want to see those. Um, so if you're on Patreon, you'll know about it. Um, it, we just wanted to get back to the people that were supporting us financially for the channel. Yeah. We're hoping to like, hopefully we can do a trip or two this year to go to some cool events. Um, At least one. And Patreon, yeah, realistically we're, we're really aiming for one. Yep. But, um, Patreon's helping support that goal for us and realistically it'll help mm-hmm. us, you know, buy whiskey for the channel yep. and do this instead of doing it all out of our own pocket, it helps us, uh, you know, do it not all of, out of our own pocket, so. Short term, it's uh, content generation. Long term goals is more or less uh, trips. And yeah. we'll do more vlog type stuff on that. Yep. And we're really, really banking on doing one this year that I think is going to be amazing. Super cool. Yeah. As like long that, as my wife doesn't have a baby. <clears throat> oh, no. And you can go. <gasps> I didn't even think of that. It's the it's same right month. It's right there. Yeah. It's the same month. It is that. They haven't announced the date yet. That's the issue. I know. If they announce the date and it's really early, it's there's gotta a good be chance really we're good. It's gotta be there's really a good early. chance as long as you can go, I'm good. <clears throat> yeah. If they announce it late, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. I've been stressed. Oh, I didn't it. even think about yeah. that until right now. Yeah. So anyway, <coughs> so, so yeah. we're trying. Uh, needless to say, it goes to channel upgrades, whiskey, stuff like that. Challenge coins coming soon. That will be a Patreon offer slash gift slash. If you're a Patreon supporter, you're going to get a challenge coin. Plus, we also do other really cool things on our Patreon. Yep. Teespring for shirts, behind the scenes on Patreon. Um, Teespring for, like, I just set up, like, a wall tapestry thing on there that I just bought the other day for over here. Yep. Our uh, our behind the scenes are pretty much our live streams. It's, uh, it's a lot more unedited bullshit. It's all, like, so anything behind the scenes... Things that we can't put on YouTube. ...will be unmonetized yeah. or demonetized so that we don't have to worry about getting in trouble for saying whatever it is. So. Learn that lesson once. Forget to put monetization <laughs> on one of the videos. I get an email. Yeah. <laughs> I get an email early in the morning from YouTube saying, listen here, motherfuckers. <laughs> can't say that shit on our channel or on our site. That one was a pretty vulgar one. There was uh, a bunch of swearing yeah. and uh, it, it was a it was a great behind the scenes, That's but that time. was one that way they were like, hey, yeah. can't, can't put that on YouTube. Polls, stuff like that. You get to vote on what we review next. Um, we post pictures of stuff we're doing, stuff like that. So if you want to join and you can support, the lowest, the minimum is $2. Um, if you can do that, hey, that helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. So you also get a shout out in the comments of the videos. Yeah. So thank you for listening to all that. Spiel, if you're still here, everybody have a good night. Why not? So yeah, we're, uh, Soon Challenge coins. I already ordered them. Yeah, but soon they'll be back. Hopefully, we get them next week. Yeah. The guy told me within a week they'd ship, so they should ship this week, um, and then we should get them next week. Yeah. And then there will be something up. So, yeah, that's you'll it. know about it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you. We appreciate this. Next a lot. next Tuesday night fun. Thursday video uh, will be out at eleven thirty a.m. And that's probably it. Yeah. I can't think of anything else. See you guys. Uh, Thanks for hanging out. Next Tuesday. You're the best. So how do you stop this shit? I don't know. I think you just need to light your infinity bottle on fire. I almost threw up. That's fucking horrendous. <laughs> I almost threw up.